Oh, yes. What up, VOD gang? Welcome back. We're going back to the 90s again. We got Louie in the house. Shout outs hey. to our boy Dave's Archives. Make sure you subscribe to our boy Davey on the YouTube, all right? This man's cataloging this stuff. He's almost got a plaque on YouTube. Can we hit the man with a big sub? Can we hit him with a sub, huh? It's free, and it only takes a second. You're right. Or you're, If you're watching this at VOD Gang, you're already halfway there. Subscribe to this man. Let's look back, shall we? Way back. My sister had this car. Wait, I, I was waiting for it to turn yellow. She had that exact one, didn't well, she? Well, yeah, the yellow one. You know what's weird about these, the re-releases of the Volkswagen Bugs? They had a flower holder. Like I was just going to say that. I remember seeing that. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a car. It had a deliberate like cup holder for a flower. Yeah. Because it was like trying to go for hippie vibes, right? Yeah, something like that. Or, you know. They came out with the Barbie bug, like to promote it, I think. Yeah. So I think they were just trying to. Uh, I don't see too many of these on the road. I don't think they make them anymore. Oh, yeah. I used to love to play Slug about. Bug. You hear that lady in the commercial? She's really into VW. She's like bugs. having an orgasm inside the car. It's like an Herbal Essences commercial. The clouds catch the colors. It's neat because I used to look at those. You don't see that. It's kind of a vibe, isn't it? As she's like going, oh my God, it comes in red and purple and it's green. Damn, dude. Why is the music getting so claptastic on this one? This is your jam right here. Used to pump stuff like this all the time. I still do. It was like early 90s jungle music. Less flower. Yeah, Toonami. Does it sound like that? Yeah, it's uh, the breakbeat. Dragon Ball Z is coming up at 5.30. Stick around. Dude, get down. It's my chair. Let's go. I'm not playing games. Okay, <laughs> here we go again. Oh, dude. Give a dog a bone. Give me a butt. Big pants, huh? Oh, yeah. That was the style. Large pants. Big, billowy, roomy pants in the 90s. And that was the style back then, and it was cool. <laughs> Remember corduroy pants? Oh, yeah. 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 I saw them trying to make a comeback a little they bit. Tried, they tried. I've been seeing them in stores. Yeah. Baggy dockers, yeah. Bye. Get fucked, dude. Now he's watching the Djibouti show. Look at this dog. <laughs> Big fan outside. of Dee Dee. <laughs> hey, those dog obedience classes really paid off. Oh, no. What's that this guy doing? way too much fuel already. Well, here comes Mo Sislac with all the lighter fluid. Hey, a homa. He's bragging about how much he's got, dude. Whoa. Oh, and you hand your boy the glizzy? And he's got all the lighter fluid. Let's go. Having fun yet? Then get to the summer of fun and nobody beats they the die. Buy the fun stuff you want and get more fun stuff. Like special offers, tickets to games, Madison Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall. With select purchases, see newspaper for details. Yo, I watch. What up, dude? Nobody Cheers, man. Nobody beats the whiz. Cheers. Look at that hot glizzy, dude. Burnt to a crisp. I wanted to see the guy explode. I, that's why you don't see them. They cut out the best part. You know what they should have done? Just show his shoes with smoke. Or just the flame. Shoes with the smoke coming out, you know? Yeah. Vision Company. Low on that, Lizzie. <laughs> oh, uh, check, please. I got it. I got it. I've got it. Oh, no, I, I, it's my turn. Uh-oh. Is that who I think it is? Oh. Is yeah, that a DMCA? Yeah, that's a DMCA, you man. You gotta be careful. Overseas. I could see him. Is that the Sir Elton? Sir Ooh, Elton John. Damn, dude, we're in the brightest of colors. Don't worry, we got it. I think we beat the DMCA. Dave's also in the chat. He knows. He's like, oh, yeah, good call, fellas. <laughs> that YouTube monster will get you. Bright yellow, bright bright neon green. I've never seen a piano that's like two-toned like that. Mm-hmm. Dipped. The better you. I'm on the way, I'm on the way, I'm on the way. I hear that didgeridoo? Yeah. Fuck, that thing's moving. Make a $50 down payment to lease one. To lease one, to die. A land rover. Get your 
ourselves a Land Rover, boys. What's the best way to deal with obstacles? No. Eliminate them. Damn. Two-handed torch. Yay. So nothing comes between you and exactly what you want. Dell computers. Wouldn't that have melted the cheese, though? It's a Dell, dude. Dell, dude. Dell Pentium 2 processor. You're getting a Dell. Dude, you're getting a Dell. You're getting yourself a goddamn Got an rat for maze, dude. Be direct, Dell. Dun, 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 dun. Good noise, though. Love good, good startup sound for the Yo, you Who's know that? what commercial I haven't seen in a long time? What's that? The Intel. Oh, this is totally DMCA because they play DMCA music on it. Mm -hmm. But the 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 guys in like the biohazard suits for the Intel Pentium Four, I think it was, and they're all mm. different colors and they're like dancing. It's just like a. Didn't they would just play copyright music and just yeah, boogie down? Got to be copyright music on that one. Nostalgia, that nostalgia tone. Dog, your couch, your toaster. Yeah. By the way, anybody got this pupper at home? Is that a beagle? Yeah. Yeah. When they bark. We had some of those across the street when I was a kid, and they never shut up. Yo, their bark is gnarly. Really cute dogs. Oh, Aww. that's a basset, basset, a basset My bad, a my bad. I always confuse the two, too, but these are the ones that honk, don't they? I think they got... both do. I think they're all they're related or something like yeah. that. Yeah. These ones, the same family. These ones get, like, the bloodshot eyes, and they go, honk, honk. Your dog, your couch, your toaster. Very cute. Your shoes, your girl, your dinner, your souvenir, your lamp. Your seventh grade teacher, your seventh grade fantasy, your soccer ball, your shower curtain, your TV, your sex, your paperweight, your goldfish, your, your job, your sunglasses, your relationship, your kid's sister, your trash, your life, your trash, your trash, your Can trash. Can you imagine a time where instead of typing everything, you had to actually handwrite it? <laughs> Oof. I wouldn't under, I'd, dude, wrongly prescribed medicines. I wonder how many just right there, how many casualties you got. People writing, hey, you need Tylenol. Like, oh, it says here you need uh, something not Tylenol. And doctors <laughs> like, have the worst handwriting. No offense to the doctors in the chat. That's what I know I'm there's saying. a lot of you. That's what I'm saying. If you had the prescribed stuff and everything was handwritten, think of all the people who probably died because of that. <sighs> I mean, there's still typos, but I mean, handwriting? How many people died off of that, dude? A lot. Rest in peace. Your car. The Honda Civic. It has you written all over it. Now you can Ew. get 3.9% APR for 36... My handwriting's pretty bad, too, dude. Mine's pretty chicken scratchy. Every time we do the Valentine's Day thing where I'm writing the notes, people are like, your ears are weird. I'm like, lay off. Jeez. Wait till they see my handwriting. They'll be like, is Louis a serial killer? <laughs> Does he months. murder people? <laughs> you write like newspaper, like cut out trimmings of that letters. Pretty much. Killers. I'd like a wireless phone. Come here. Free phone if you sign up today. Plus a zillion free minutes. Off peak only. We well, had to talk to the devil if you wanted a wireless phone back in the day. Monthly service charge. Your Honestly, are weird. you were signing up fucking for hell if you got a cell phone back in those days. Try change it well. Sign here. What's this? Yeah, why'd you have to sign up in blood? Uh, you're indebted to me forever, yada, yada, yada. The contract? Don't do it, don't do it. At Omnipoint, we have no contract to sign and no hidden charges. <laughs> so there's nothing to be afraid of. Look, I'm gonna let you keep your first point. Holy fuck, dude. What? Omnipoint, clear sound, straight deal. Get a $129 Siemens digital phone for just $49. Oh, 49 bucks, not bad. Yeah, but then every time you call somebody, it's $10. The devil talks first. There is a business class seat that tilts as a whole. Oh, phrasing fuck. That guy's going zero G. I think that's DMC. DMC. British Airlines. Damn, their fucking seats go flat. You can lay down. Can you imagine you're in like a three hour flight and you're just trying to play some games in your lap and some guy's fucking head is like right in your lap? <laughs> it's his forehead right here. Just give a little kiss. Good night. You're trying to eat some like airline food, drops in his mouth. <laughs> He's like, hey, it's fine. Eat it off of my forehead. Give me some. <laughs> Dude, he just fucking kicks back like, give me some. <laughs> Yo, coming in with the beeps. Le, 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 le. Los 90s. Vamos, muchachos. 
Just kidding. <laughs> Louis has the handwriting of an engineer. Give him a break, world. Yeah, it's true. We wanted the new Dodge Intrepid to be so powerful. I don't even so remember new, this car. So sleek and so slippery that it would fairly scream, drive me. Car and driver must have Was it an Intrepid? A Dodge in Intrepid? Then intrepid? Then intrepid? One of the best. It's like Dodge. a Dodge Ford Taurus. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Dodge Intrepid. Ten best. Intrepid. Again. You and now, I miss the Dodge Neons. Those were kind of dope. Neon. Like Dodge yeah. and competitive owners can get a well-equipped Intrepid for about nineteen-nine. These commercials, uh, late 90s. From the past? Late 90s, I boys. can go to my Prudential account online any time of the day. Prudential security. Prudential has definitely made me a better investor. Yo, tier two. I'm Thank you, legendary boat. What up, man? I'm looking at it, and I'm I doing, Joe? Ed, what up, dude? And I'm calling my financial advisor. How you doing? I can make decisions. I have control. Oh, the dog. Oh, that dog just made the whole commercial so much better. Damn, you guys playing Risk? One v one Risk? You I'm have to have at least four people to play Risk. World Risk. Prudential. This summer, don't forget sunblock for the inside of your body. Coffee Kulata from Dunkin' oh, Donuts. Like, what the fuck they make that? Toasted almond and Kahlua. Kahlua coffee flavored coffee? Oh, Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, Kahlua does taste delicious. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts coffee would make you shit, boy. More than the regular stuff, you know what I mean? You ever have a Dunkin' Donuts? I think Sugar in a cup. I've, every time I've gone to Dunkin' Donuts, they mm -hmm. fuck up my order. I've True. been there two times. First time I asked for my shit on a croissant, mm -hmm. and then the person I was with asked for it on a bagel. They put all the stuff I asked for on my croissant on the bagel, and all the stuff they asked for on the bagel on the croissant. It it, it might be a location to location. I basis. think it's our location just sucks. I think it does matter which one you go to. With everything this city has to offer, New Yorkers are used to getting the. Uh, oh yeah, Krispy Kreme over at fucking Dunkin'. Are you kidding me? Is that even a thing? We're not even going to discuss yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, right? Krispy Kreme is the Krispy best. Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Did you know when Krispy Kreme first started out, they only sold to grocery stores? They didn't, like, didn't have that. their own thing. Didn't know that. It's and there was, like, a factory across the street, and all the workers would come over, and they'd be like, hey, we want to buy some of your donuts. We can smell them whenever we come out on breaks. Can we get some of your donuts? Yeah. Like, no, sorry. We only sell them to stores. Mm. I'm like, what, what are you thinking? Dude, the line for Krispy Kreme, always crazy. I hardly ever see a line at Dunkin', Dunkin D's Nuts. You know what I mean? I yeah. never really see a line for that. But, dude, the fucking crit Maybe Dunkin' in the morning because people want a coffee because they, whatever, they like their, their beans. But, yo, Krispy, the line wraps around, like, malls, dude. It is insane. Best, which probably explains this. The 190 horsepower Nissan Maxima. I love the Nissan Maxima. Sports Maxima. car handling and comfortable. I had an Infinity i35, which was like the luxury edition of the Maxima, the and it was Maxima my favorite car. Ever 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 what happened to that bad boy? Uh, Died. Somebody I knew crashed it. Oh. Nine months. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, dude. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it wasn't me who crashed it. <laughs> New York. Twenty. Uh, Sir Queef. Uh, says, you guys see Resident Evil Netflix series that dropped? Not for me. Is it, uh, I didn't see it. Is it real life or is it cartoon or what is it? Resident Evil, they're always trying new shit. Oh, I love Resident Evil. Dude. I found out too. We were hanging out with D at Renfair. There's a fucking Raccoon City movie came out. I didn't even fucking know about that. Wow. He was saying it was dog shit. It's real life live action. It's so bad. Why can't they make anything good uh, movie TV-wise? It has wise such with, good lore. With like, Resident how Evil. do you fuck that up? <laughs> they just can't do it, man. But fucking give me a video game. God damn, that Village was so good. Yeah. Remember Village? I can't wait for number eight, right? That's going to be the next one. Insane how good a game can be and how bad its movie TV Netflix adaptations can just be dog shit. Nine for 14. I just can't get this biggest ride. Well, Mary, why don't you come up here? Yikes, by the way, this teacher is straight out of Resident Evil Village. We were just talking about it. She reminds me of like somebody who would show up to the Salem Witch Trials and be like, She's a witch! Burner! Yeah, but, but meanwhile, she's the witch. It's yeah, just she's, kind of that's the, why she's got the black lipstick. It's yeah, scary. it's like, dude, you're the most witchy-looking person here saying burn everybody else. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Yo, 
uh, uh, Queeftador says new live action. Oh, that's what he said. New live action. Oh, great. Poopy uh, Knock Bottom. What up, dude? Love the name. Yeah, In the loft and spooky. What up, dude? Abacus. Holy shit, an abacus. Yo, do you remember when we were in elementary school and they taught us abacus for like a month? For a month? I remember for us it was like a day activity. Okay, but the then they brought like the kids from China who were like abacus pros. Oh, yeah. And they're like, That's right. Dude, it was insane. I've never seen somebody work an abacus like that in my entire life. So weird, by the way, that they did that. It was just like, all right, children, today we're going to watch... Uh, kids your age but from china who are way smarter than you it, it was like they just, were trying to get us to buy abacus they just wanted to humble our whole class it was almost like the yo-yo presentation but yeah. for abacus it's like we just want to show you guys how dumb we really are compared to <laughs> other schools across the world these kids were doing like crazy math i forgot they made it like a whole event with other kids it's four to three it's four to three that's right now let's thank Congressman Bob for donating the giant Snapple abacus. Thanks, Congressman Bob. Don't thank. What's this guy doing in the back of the class? He's stealing some kids' lunch. <laughs> what a <laughs> fucker. Eating kids' lunch while they're learning math. Thank Snapple for making over 40 flavors. Thanks, Snapple. The best stuff. He's always in the back of the class, just watching. The best part about Snapple is reading the little facts underneath the lid. Mm hmm. Mm. And then you feel like you got a weapon afterwards. You kind of do. Yo, a Snapple bottle? That, that's Fuck, kill thick somebody. glass, dude. Yeah, they got that double thick. It's thick enough that they don't have to put as much liquid in it. It's deceiving. It's like a bag of chips that's all air. It's like all yeah, glass. Yeah, that's true. I never thought about that. Yo, you fuck people up with these. Now they're plastic? What's, well, what's going on with the world? Why are they going so soft on us, huh? They can't snap somebody's head off with some these Some kid went to drink it and cut himself or something. Oh, like my God, dude. I would knows, see, dude. Uh, dude, I would see glass all over the high school when yeah. these were all... You see, David, I feel... It's a fucking glass grenade. Your feelings betray a feeling I felt about... Sobe bottles might be the most brutal, right? They right were above. cooler. They had lizards, like, blown into the glass. Yeah, it was cool. It was, uh, it was like, as techy or something. Your feelings. I just what? remember the lizards. Yeah. I haven't seen, like, an actual Sobe in forever. I've seen, like, the fountain drink one. That's, like, mm -hmm. zero sugar or whatever. They're still out there. Feeling can't grow beyond heard. feeling this way. What you felt Let's face it. You're not always clear. Yeah, balls energy cellular. drink? That shit was like ribbed for her but pleasure. It had like little PPS, balls all over it. The only you ever have a balls? What the, the fuck is a balls? A new so before Red... I don't know if it was actually before Red Bull, but I remember at Fry's, before we would do like a LAN party... I'm going to type in balls. Is this going to... B-A-W-L-Z, yeah. It's going to be it? all right. They still have it. They have like a root beer flavor now and like balls, a bunch of other flavors. Balls in yo jaws by Milo? No, it's, it's that. Balls... <laughs> Don't Google balls. What the fuck? Yeah. I've never seen this. It's good. I really like the, um, just the plain flavor is pretty good. The root beer one was all right. Balls. Put these balls in your mouth. They knew what they were doing, huh? Why would oh, you yeah. name your shit balls? Well, it was an adult drink, right? You weren't supposed to give it to your kids. What kind of, what kind of may show up to the bar? What are you doing putting balls in your mouth? Why don't you grab a button light? What are you doing? Why don't you grab a course with the rest of your family? Why you I'm trying to stay balls? lit. <laughs> Why you always got to show up with balls in your mouth? Could you please stop drinking balls? You're making Grandpa very upset. I know he's got to ruin everything. Drinking balls. New level of clarity. I'm going to Mexico with Brad. Sprint PCS. It's only for two weeks. The clear alternative to cellular. Oh, Sprint. Never, I've never seen a balls. Well, it's good emote right here. <laughs> <laughs> good animated emote. Motherfucker. He's really driving. Killing us. I'm pulling away from you. It helps. I don't think I can do it on my own. I know. This guy's wearing a flannel. Yeah, he's really trying to get those gains. Yo, take the flannel off, man. You're on a goddamn bike. This is the longest I've ever stuck with a workout program. Well, they say motivation is the key. That's why. Because on his way to drink. You can do it. Come on, you bunch of boss brothers. I don't see any sweat. No wonder you can never get a bike around here. Can you imagine the carbon monoxide poisoning everybody would get breathing all hard and that car is going? Yeah, and then they get rewarded with booze. <laughs> the best combo. He's going to start handing these out so you can fucking chug it while you're on the bike.
Get a carbon monoxide alcohol crossfade. <laughs> what you want? You want some this carbon monoxide? How long does it take to turn the new Dodge I love Durango Dodge from the sport utility with the most passenger room in its class? The whole car just kind of folds over on room. itself. All right, parents almost got one of these, but then ended Not up getting a Dakota enough. instead. God damn, you can lay down back there, boy. What's this guy doing? Playing golf? He's just dancing now. He's dancing on the commercial. He showed you that the interior folds. Now he can just fucking dance on you. He's trying to show you his swing, how That's professional right. he is. Perfect for kidnappers? I don't know if that was their slogan. Yikes. Durango. New ground for the Durango. New Dodge. It's back. Towering 200 feet in the air. Oh, fuck. It hurls you to earth at 75 miles an yes, hour. Yes, dude. What is this? It suspends you in near weightlessness. It wraps you in more than one mile. I'm going to say it's not one we got. Probably not. Turning steel track. The Santa California coaster. Is it? Lifetime. No. Fun, yes. <laughs> Wait, is that Ford, fucking... Oh, no. Tallest, Dorney Park? Dorney Park. Anybody got Dorney in their backyard? Where is this Coaster in the east. Only at Dorney Park. Dorney. Philadelphia. PA in the Pennsylvania. hizzy. Pennsylvania. We got oh, the Pennsylvania. P excuse me. We got any PAs? There they go. PA, baby. Allen Town, it's me. Come go, come down, ride a coaster. Get yourself a fucking uh, foot long, uh, long Ita spicy Italian. Eat a subway, throw it up on Steel Force. <laughs> Gross, dude. Funny <laughs> Park. PA in the hizzy. As of today, the obstacles to wireless calling are history. <laughs> Introducing AT and T Digital One Rainbow. Fifty. I knew what I want in I your time. I knew what I want. Dude, that's what happens every time you make a wireless call. What's going on? I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. That's right. Cali for 2A. They were the brand new sub. It's dude. crazy to think how they got shots like this before a drone where they're like flying through shit. Just on like a helicopter or something. Yeah, I was going to say, how the fuck did they do that shit? Yeah. Mm. Driving. Oldsmobile, drive the entry. Two free tickets can be yours. You ever been to a drive-in? No. You've never been? Not once. It's okay. It's all right. The quality is not that great. From what I've seen, you have great. to put like a little speaker in your car, or you have to tune radio. to a certain radio station. And it's like... Or your phone app, I think they could do now. Well, it's probably better quality now. Oh, yeah. It's fine now. You should go now, though. But During back the... in the day, like you can't match the sound system that you have in a theater. During the pandemic, though, it was a... Uh, yeah, was a that was the, the meta. The only thing that's weird is like you're in your car, so you have the freedom to kind of do whatever you want. I was like watching a movie, but so distracting because all the cars in front of me, people are like hanging outside their car, playing hacky sack, eating hot Why dogs. Why even go? It was just like kind of like, can we just all get out of the way? I'm trying to focus on the movie. Yeah. People kind of roam around a lot more. People like take breaks from the movie, get out of their car and stretch. Why would you? Why? But it's a cool experience. You should you should try it. I'll do it once. You should. You should, you should say, you know, you had that experience. Watch X-Files on the big screen. Doors. Ever have someone get in your car by accident? Or <laughs> I got some milk dudge to... Oh, hello? It looks like it would happen there, man. Move quickly. Hooking up in the back seat. Yeah, and you have the freedom to take your pants off, too. Let's not forget. Can't do that in a movie theater. I don't know if I've seen it on TV or other people talked about it, but they would be like... Yeah, there was a drive-in theater down the street from my house, and we would just, like, bring our radio and sit, like, on a hill where we could see the whole movie. Yeah. They try to barricade it now, but, I mean, yeah, you can find a well, hill come somewhere. On. Why, why are you doing that? Climb a tree. Are you really losing it. that much money from those five families who are stealing a movie from you? <laughs> Hooking up with Milk Duds? Yeah, you put Milk Duds in your underwear and just hang out in your car. You're do it free to do whatever you want. Then they get nice and soft, you know? Yeah, get them warm. You got to warm them up. Drive-ins are better with top downs. Yeah, you got to make sure you're, you know, you're gonna be wiping your, your front windshield too, because you gotta, you gotta see through that bitch. Yeah. Scat, thank you for the pride. <laughs> By Oldsmobile, driving to see the movie. Yeah, a lot more lounging and people hanging out and meeting other people at the drive-in. A lot of stuff happens outside of the cars. 
always a douche with the high beams. Oh my god, true, dude. Why would you do that? Yeah, people don't shut their lights off. It's like, bro, come on. Then the guy who's like an usher has to go talk to him. They're all like hammered drunk and want to fight him. Don't tell me what to do with my yeah. own car. Sir, could you please turn your high beams? He's got the fucking super high truck, too. It's like flashing the screen. Can you please go to the back, sir? <laughs> no, I paid just as much as everybody else. <laughs> Whoa, Elton John, jeez. He's like, hey, I'm here to DMCA you two times. <laughs> chill. Twice in one day. Chill, LT. Chill, man. Elton, stop. He's playing Elton off the... There we go. I need some music. There we go. There we go. He cussed at the... Holy shit. God break. What are you out of your mind? Look at Elton John getting down. We got God breaker in the fucking house. God breaker. Booty VOD's literally saving my damn life out here. Thank you, gents, for all you do for us. Oh, Thank you for yes. all you do for us, Godbreaker. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't be able to do it. Dude, appreciate you for fucking hanging out, man. Keeping it all positivo around here in the hizzy. We're glad we can, you know, Everybody. make you laugh, make you think, take you back in time, dude. Thank you, dude. In a place where Very generous, sir. You know thank love. you, thank you. Much love to you, Godbreaker. Did you like TV Land at all as a kid? Ugh. No. I like the Wonder Years. That's what was the big show for me when I was a kid. And I Love Lucy. I couldn't. I Dream of Genie was pretty good and Bewitched. I wasn't, other than that. I wasn't there yet. Mm -mm. So, you were, See, you were a more matured viewer. I was like, no, I want Wugwats right now. I was just a little kid who just refused to go to bed. It was oh, more like dude, it. Dude, give me Wugwats. But as I'm never soon walking. as the Andy so, Griffin show came on with that whistling, ugh. shut that shit right off and went to sleep. Oh, Gilligan's? I hated ugh. Gilligan's Island as a kid. Oh, it was horrible. It might hit different now. but Yeah, like Nickelodeon, all those channels during the day was just awesome awful it's when it would turn into this shit and you'd hear the fucking what's on the tip of my tongue the whistling <laughs> that shit oh that makes me feel so weirdly nostalgic in my gut it's like bad nostalgia you makes your stomach feel like upside down and heavy it's like ugh, when that fucking shit would come on I wonder if we could even watch it now and appreciate it for what it is but it's just too old it's too boomery, boomery. Yeah. it's so boomery dude Andy Griffith yeah <laughs> Only I also TV hated that. Uh, what's the one where she's like, Genie. she throws the sh the hat up? We're gonna make it after rock. And it's a freeze frame. I fucking hated that show. Mary Tyler Moore. That's it. Look at this, dude. Look at this guy. Hey, we going across the? I'm coming for your bitches. Going across the U.S. Call your cable or satellite company. Your calls make a difference. See, I loved I Dream of Genie. Can't do it, dude. I could never do it. It man. was cool because she could grant wishes, mm. and it was it was kind of a rip off of Bewitched. I don't know which one came first. The wiggling her nose, wasn't it? That I think was Bewitched. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell them you want the basic cable channel that loves TV. Tell them take me to TV Land. Oh boy. Boy, no, no, thank you. I love Sanford and Son though. That shit clapped. Oh, dude. Sanford and Son fucking clap. That theme song alone. That theme How song alone, man. For Infinity's half -yearly event? That would probably be the only one I could watch back yeah. then. Yeah, it was it really up. funny. What were we here before I give you a knuckle sandwich? It's your chance we're now breaking it down. On a Q45. Had an Infinity emergency appendectomy. Nice to have my boys to recover. Dude, chill with that appendix. Hope bro. you're doing good, man. Chill right now. Let's relax. Let's just have a nice, chill healing session as we look back in time, dude. Glad you're all right and you're Here's recovering. Tip. Just tell them you got your tonsils removed, and they'll give you lots of ice cream and sorbet. Mm. That's the trick. Event ends July 6th. Are you ready? An infinity. Oh, Yo, Barlos, what up, dude? Crisp, Zim Zim, guys. The anticipation. The Mets have the one nothing lead. First inning run coming on. Here we are watching the Yankees and the Mets. What's going to be here, Lou? I mean, the the tie, are they tied up? Those are 
We got. Uh, I don't know how to read scores for baseball. Oh, look who's in the front here. Tom Selleck. Jerry Seinfeld watching the game. Well, you know what they with the ball? They got to throw the ball. They're not throwing the ball. Yeah, well, he's hitting the ball. He's going to hit the ball. Why don't they hit the ball? They got to hit the ball and start running. Well, they won't hit the ball. Welcome back to it was Stadium, Keith Hernandez. Everybody. I was just making a joke about his mustache. <laughs> yeah. Calm down. Tonight will be performed by recording artist Brian McKnight. He's Brian here. McKnight's going to say, holy shit. Home plate and ready I think to this go. is probably DMC. Oh, well. say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. They always DMC. The, Did the you see that guy's mullet, that though? Where did he it? go? Where is it? He had a sick blonde mullet. <laughs> Bad it down, dirty loud. Yeah, probably they might even have the footage here. So I can't. But goddamn, look at that. How can that be DMCA? If you uh, usually it's like the big ones, like um, you know Marvin Gaye singing the national anthem. I'm pretty sure is one that's taken. I think anything owned by the MLB or NHL or NFL or NB or MLB, you kind of gotta be careful. Yeah. Make sure you're all subscribed to that man, Dave. We got plenty more. Let's pull up the next one here. Make sure my volume's good. Next. All right. Extra, extra. Read all about it. We're chilling when the weather gets warm. No doubt about it. To be cool and be somewhat respectable, pick up Pepsi in these hype receptacles. Cool cans are coming, so don't be afraid. And if you get lucky, then you might get paid. Tell him, Dee Dee. That just reminded me. Do you remember Pepsi Lemon? Dee Dee, chill. It's just Pepsi. Pepsi Lemon, though. They don't make Pepsi. For, they don't make Pepsi for dogs. Dee Dee. It's they like don't that do it. suicidal tendency song. I was in my room and I was chilling in my bed and I just wanted a Pepsi. Wanted <laughs> <laughs> a Pepsi. So grab the t-shirt. Your face better quicken before they run. Whoa, those are cool cans. Look how cool those cans are. Yeah, the neon one is dope. Not all the clock stops ticking. Limited really? edition. I'm not kidding. Word up. TCBY frozen. Thought it was a Power Ranger at first. Frozen yogurt is the Dude, greatest in the one universe. One time I ate at TCBY and they had like kids flavors. Ate at what? TCBY. That can't be yogurt. I wouldn't miss it. For it's a world. frozen yogurt place. I've never heard of a TCBY. They kind of evaporated. I don't know if they still exist. <laughs> they took off. In a they might in other areas, but like, like in my area, they just disappeared. You um, had this? Oh, it's the country's best yogurt. I thought it was that can't be yogurt. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm dumb. Um, the country's best yogurt. They had wow. They had a rainbow vanilla yogurt for kids and it was like all rainbow colored i ate it and the next day i pooped and it was black and all this blue dye was coming <laughs> off <laughs> it like rotted your insides dude i wouldn't recommend it yo what kind of chemicals are in that bitch it's i making don't your shit know black. man it probably gave me cancer dude oh man it, you know what it definitely took off at least two weeks of your life yeah you know what i mean holy shit dude holy Fuck, it made the water. That was the only time I ever <laughs> ate there, dude. It's the, You could literally yeah. see the blue food coloring like coming out. Dude. <laughs> oh, it my God. Gross. So, like, the black turd hit the water and then just blue yeah. came off of it? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's awful. Woo! That's why they're closed. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if Mars is still open. Oh, fuck, if Mars is still open. Yeah, it probably... Accept all that weird ass food you're serving. So no TCBY sponsorships. Got it. Hey man, <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to doing it again. It was an interesting experience. I never forgot. Yo, what up, fishy? Oh my god, dude. Oh, we're talking steak now. What are we talking? Charcoal, baby. Mm hmm. But I tell you what, I don't know what this jokester's doing with all this charcoal. Uh -huh. Taste the meat, not the heat, bah. King what? Kingsford. Let's be real, though. No, thank you. More Charcoal like, tastes better. More like King Bah. It really does. I'll tell it you tastes what. so fucking good. What did you just say? It tastes better. Charcoal. It adds extra flavor. The clean burn. 
But it also depends on what you're cooking. Like if you're cooking a nice steak, yeah, I would rather have propane. But if you're cooking burgers, burgers, and you just want that extra wood flavor in there, whoo, sheesh, not a clean burn. Three guys plumbing. For hair clogs at their worst. Oh, it's for you. No other drain opener works better than liquid plumber. Liquid plumber. Oh, liquid plum. Never heard of them. Never hear of them. Oh, liquid plumber. Liquid plumber. Describe McDonald's in three little words. Three little words. Big Mac fries. Coke. Clean, clean, clean. <laughs> Butch, Gerald, <laughs> David. See, I met them all right here. Boy, happy <laughs> meal. Fresh, deaf, cooking. Extraordinary, innovative, convenient. For ladies, old <laughs> Oh, my God. Yo, His mom doesn't boss, play that shit, dude. Don't you dare. <laughs> We got hot food. We got hot food. Hot bath food and dude food. We got lunch food. Munch it and munch food. Not in the greatest mood food. We got the right food. Damn, Life. dude. Of all the commercials we've done, we've done like, we've seen hundreds by now doing the show with the retros. I don't think we've seen anything more than McDonald's. It's crazy how many there were and the variety, the different kinds. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What? McDonald's frozen yogurt? Holy shit, I didn't even notice. What? They had Froyo, food, low fat Froyo. Morning. Did it work though? Listen, in the nineties, did it actually work? The ice cream machine always worked. I don't know what is happening nowadays. Did they like downgrade the technology yeah. of the ice cream machine? And food and or do bought- people just get lazier and they don't want to clean <laughs> they it? They bought TCBY. That's for a was. short period of time and realized it's making everybody shit blue. blue. Food, make a wish food, not this food. Make your poo food. All right, food, we got food. Make your poo blue food. Get it to go food. Take it to all food. McDonald's. Damn, dude, used to get down on this so much, man. I was a fat little middle school kid. I still get down on McDonald's. Oh, my God, it was bad, dude. You ever had a McGangbang, Justin? What's that? You take a McDouble. Mm Mm-hmm. You split it right between the meats, and then you take a McChicken and stuff it in there. Ah, uh, that sounds like a lot. Oh. How, how fucking wide is it? Are we talking? It's it's pretty big. Is it like a four by four at in and out Yeah. It's pretty beefy, dude. It That's is a lot. pretty good. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. A food, pause, and fine. They're coming. Dow bathroom cleaner with scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> it's stronger than original Dow bathroom cleaner. Yo, I love we these scrubber guys. As yeah, a kid. I was like, yo, like I remember being a kid, watch this, be like, can they just sell the toy of the scrubber? Yeah. I would clean with it. It would actually make cleaning fun. If they would have included a little toy of this with their soap, do you mm-hmm. know how many they would have sold? Mm-hmm. But then it's like you're convincing kids to buy cleaning materials. Yeah, it's not a good look. It's like the same thing with the Fabuloso trick. You've seen that? How many, There's a pandemo going around with everybody drinking all the Fabuloso. What do you mean? We've talked about this before. The Fabuloso. Anybody else ever been a, trapped by this one? People see this and they think you're supposed to drink it. They see it on the shelf and they go, oh, I haven't it's tried lavender. that. I haven't tried lavender fruit juice. To be Here, fair, that one is green. One? I bought that one once. It smelled great, but I did kind of want to drink it. At a, at a glance. You know what I mean? Like, if you just look at your screen, but just go right past it, you'd think, oh, fruit juice. Gets a lot of people. <laughs> Natural selection. It'd be kind of weird to find fruit juice in the soap aisle, though. Uh, well, you're like, oh, someone, uh, they must have put it in the wrong spot. What's that, raspberry? Oh, they got Baja Blast. <laughs> it's just, uh, I swear this is getting people. Natural selection, exactly. It's taking people out, dude. The Fabuloso will get them. You don't have to. In civilized society, any group in labs can result in a mortified Barkles. But with right guards for stick, one gets maximum right guard protection. What's your deodorant of choice? Um, the Dove Men's. Dove I'm all men. about that secret because it's strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. talked. Yeah, we've talked about this before. You like that? You like the smell of it? That yeah. It's, it's flowery. It's soft. It's. I'm telling you, secret. I'm telling you guys, 
We got any uh, any other secret boys? Want to? We got any? See, yeah, we got some secret boys. Look at secret powder fresh. There it is. Mm -hmm. Dove, That's the one. Dove Men's is good. Dove Men's is good well, stuff. Off to the foxes. Right guards, boy stick. Anything less would be uncivilized. Girls like the stank. Science shows there's little pheromones in there. Yeah. You're about to get. Good luck with that. Something special. The brand book. Filled with money-saving coupons on... Ooh, coupon book ad. ...product for the whole family. Nancy? Oh, Susan. Nancy? Hi. God damn. How much is in that cart? She's Her racking cart? up a bill. Nowadays, it's like a $400 cart. Oh, she's getting like $800 worth of groceries. I remember back in the day, my dad would fill up two carts. And it would only be like 300 bucks. He's just getting bulky stuff, huh? Yeah. Hi. Hey, what's that you're reading? It's the brand book. God damn. She's like, can I please have that coupon book? Because I'm about to get $800 worth of the produce. The just came in the mail. It's full of money-saving coupons. And look, it's such a convenient way to take them to the store. Oh, and there's your money-saving coupon. Oh, no, 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 no. That one's mine. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks. You ever seen the lady who, uh, like, gets so many coupons, she's, like, addicted to coupons? Mm. And she could get like a whole cart of groceries for like ten cents or some shit. <laughs> Jesus, you ever dude. seen that? No, that's a whole scam. And then right she's there. like a, a hoarder, and she has like her bathroom was just filled up with paper towels. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, use the brand book. That sounds like a show for TLC coupon hoarders. You well, know, then there I mean? was another guy who found like a coupon for the airport or like a flight thing. Yeah, where if he bought like a whole bunch of some certain food, they gave him free air mileage. And he bought so much that he could just fly anywhere he wants forever. Forever and ever. It was like yogurt or some shit like that. God damn. The coupon hunting. What's that you're reading? That milk's getting squished. Dude. She's going to have a problem with this, man. Trying to steal a coupon book. No, 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 no. That one's mine. Can't believe it. Tried to literally steal money. Tried to yeah. just steal. Just give me that. Give me that. And this, <laughs> thanks for not letting me steal what from you. What a bitch. Use the brand book. The bonus in your mail. What I love is when you're at the store and you're already like looking at their website. You just type in coupon. A lot of arts and crafts places will have that. If you got to pick up something like a Michael's Arts and Crafts or some shit. You just look on their website and they always have like 50% off in-store purchase. By the way, I hate to call out Michael's like this, but never shop at Michael's. Why? What it is so overpriced. It is too. It is. That's why they have the 50% off on their website. Yeah. I went to get a pack of Magnum Sharpies or whatever, the thick Sharpies, the ones that are like chisel tip. Mm -hmm. And it was like $20. Like, oh, fuck that. And then later in the day, I went to Walmart, $10. Go to Walmart. Yeah, I was like, wow, the Walmart. fuck is this? Walmart or Amazon. They'll fuck you real good at Michael's. And uh, Aaron Brothers is probably even worse. I don't even know those. what that is. Some expensive ass shit. <laughs> I don't get it. He says we bought it for me. We did buy it for her. He's always using it. She got the crazy eyes, huh? Kind of scary. Getting exorcist girl vibes. Oh, geez. She's really into this part. Like, if you time that up with a fucking screamer, yikes. Her head just spun around real quick. Once. See, people coming out, used to work at Michael's. Yep, we're ripping people's off. All ripping them off. Trivia. It's here. Aaron Brothers didn't make it. Rest in peace, Aaron Brothers. We love it. All right, Pete. And it's like nothing. God damn, look at that thing. That's like perfectly round. See I that? like the back double window. It looks kind of cool. Man, it's like a fucking, it's like the UFO, the Tic Tac. Yeah, it's like a space car. Roly poly. Yeah, cyber van. It looks like a goddamn yeah, a UFO. Yeah, cyber truck almost, yeah. Nothing. What is that thing like on the inside? Roomy, dude. It's so comfortable. It's as if they read my mind. The all new Previa. Yo, how deep does this like dashboard area go to have that thing completely round? Yeah, it's, it's like an egg popping out. It's a Toyota. Incredible. And it's like nothing you've ever seen. In recent. Yo, what ex what car was it exactly? It. We did. Mid-engine? Previa. It's here. It's a Toyota. Like a supercar? It. And it's like nothing you've ever seen. It's so comfortable. It's they didn't say, was it a Previa? The all-new Previa. Oh, Previa. It's here. It's a Toyota. Incredible. And it's like nothing you've ever seen. In God damn, that thing is like 
bulbous in the front. You could put your dinner up on that thing right there. God on the damn, glove that compartment. Thing, dude, imagine trying to clean up there. You'd be, you're going like to have to throw your shoulder out, like get all the way in there to get that out. Yo, this thing is uh, literally a fucking spaceship. Dude, you could seriously like have airline food in there and chill. <laughs> the thing is Do wild. your homework. I can't believe how deep this thing goes. They should have shown off more of the interior. Yeah, they should have shown off the seats more. This shit is straight up a fucking spaceship. God damn. Holy fucking shit, though, right? Thing's deep. Damn, look how round that fucker is, dude. Get the whole family in there. We're going to McDonald's. They're badass. Talk, people talk shit on the minivan, Lou, but, I mean, would you? At this point in my life, yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I have some cargo now, you know? It's actually starting to not sound like a bad idea. You fold all the chairs down, you could wrestle back there. You what know you what really mean? need is, like, one of those sliders that they have in limousines. Just block the kids off. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Oh, yeah. A super tinted, too? Like a limo that seals the air so you can't even hear him. Like, I want McDonald's! I want McDonald's! Just goes up there. <laughs> you mean the Homer Simpson car? Exactly. Yo, the 90s one is just crazy round. You ever seen? I've never seen one of these on the road this round. Probably not in a long time. God damn. Previa uh, VIP. Yeah, we got some Previa boys in the chat. Yo, Previa boys, mount up. Minivan boys, mount up. Recent years. Seen it? Doctors have discovered a flaw in eggs. They're extremely high in cholesterol. And a diet high in cholesterol and fat can contribute to the risk of heart. Remember back then, it was all about your cholesterol. Every ad was like, you can eat the fuck out of this. There's no cholesterol. But tons of trans fat. <laughs> well, they didn't even know what fats were. It's just <coughs> cholesterol. Disease. Nutritionists at Fleischmann. You never hear him. I never heard. I haven't even heard someone say cholesterol in so long now. But back then, that's all it was. Fleischmann's egg beaters, the only egg substitute that's 99% real egg. I've had this before. It's not that bad. Zero cholesterol. I mean, it's not good, but it's not that bad. Yeah. Cholesterol and zero saturated fat. Next time you'd love an egg, Mm. crack open a carton. Fleischmann's egg beaters, the great tasting egg without a flaw. No flaws, just eggs. NBA playoffs on 10. <gasps> Space Jam. <gasps> and remember, Magic Johnson told you. NBA playoffs. Grandpa, you think you could have a party every time you come out with a new product? Redenbacher party? Holy oh, shit. I love Orville Redenbacher. Yo, who got invited to Orville's place? Product, this is really nice. They don't have a party like this every night. This is big. This is really. Who wants to party with Orville and Gary Redenbacher? Ronald McDonald. Dave from Wendy's. <laughs> I want to know who's at this party. Colonel dude. Sanders. <laughs> this new light microwave popcorn. With one third fewer calories and two thirds less fat than our regular microwave. Uh, regular and it microwave. pops up more than any other microwave. How come he never microwave? took on, you know, the Orville's, you know, gig? Uh, the, uh, his son? Yeah. You never see this guy in commercials, but, you know, I still remember Orville. Uh, couldn't, ha- I couldn't handle the fame. A lot of pressure. It's a lot of big shoes to fill, big glasses to fill, you know? gonna keep my figure i don't want to wear a yellow bow tie dad or just like- he doesn't have that pizzazz yeah. to sell popcorn like his old man like it is today well you're pretty good looking grandpa you know that's what grandma's or grandpa that's too yeah not all of us can be as good looking as you grandpa yeah, popping popcorn and popping out babies dude oh that's true that's true <laughs> generations of red and vouchers out there <laughs> butter that dick up make some kids pop them out him in the microwave. Boom. I'm still mad at Mr. Peanut. Dude. What'd he do to you? So they killed Mr. Peanut. What do you mean? They had him like drive off a cliff or some shit. And he died. <laughs> that was an ad campaign for him dying. Yeah. And then they, what do they, you mean? they had a baby Peanut come back and he looks so shitty. He looks like a like that troll face emote. Mr. Peanut death. Yeah. He fucking died for real? There might be some DMCA music, so be careful. He just died in your arms tonight? Yeah, that's that's definitely DMCA. 
What the fuck? You're not kidding. No, I'm serious. Mr. Peanut has like real lore? Holy shit, let me watch this. What the fuck? Wesley Snipes was involved? <laughs> They're running away? What the fuck, dude? I'm like, Mr. Peanut, you gotta let go, man. Why don't you let go, right? They killed him in a Super... Oh, it was a Super Bowl ad. I was gonna say, it's very... He sacrificed himself. Holy shit. Yeah, and then... They just brought him back as a baby. Do you know how mad that shit made me? Oh, he's a little nut now? Yeah, I was so excited. That is weird. They killed him off because they gambled baby Peanut was going to be the next baby Yoda. Oh, they were trying to pull one of those and it failed. They should have had peanut butter spray up when he hit the ground. <laughs> that actually would have been cool. He's just covered in peanut butter. I, I suspect there was something else at play. I mean, you got Wesley Snipes in there. What was he doing, huh? What was the other guy doing? What's baby? So what's baby peanut? Then he grew into a teenager within like a month. Baby peanut. What's his name? Oh, he's adorable. Yeah, but look at the teenager version. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is it teen? Yeah, right there to your right. Go up. Yeah, that's it. What the fuck? I hate it, dude. Happy it reminds 21st me of that, that troll birthday. Face. I mean, banking on him being Baby Yoda. Wow, Super Bowl ad. Okay, I didn't know Mr. Peanut had such a crazy lore behind him. Chad Peanut. <laughs> Now he's gonna his next form he's gonna be all buff and like take over. Baby Nut? I don't know about the name. Maybe that's why I didn't take off. Yeah, it was these two. Going neck and neck. Nut nut to nut. It really made me upset. Pick Because I thought they killed him off and I was like, dude, they're not gonna have Mr. Peanut on the thing anymore? Never again. And they're like, nah, he's fine. Oh, fuck you guys for messing with my emotions. How dare you? Nut lore. Holy planters present everybody loves a nut. We jump at the chance. He looks uh you know, he looks like he's straight off of fucking uh, Nintendo uh, oh, with the no, no, no. He's got like a me face, doesn't he? Yeah. Holy planters present planters. Everybody loves, loves his fucking nuts. Jump at the chance to have planters lightly salted. What's this guy doing? He's doing like a puppet show thing. No, he's got jump nuts. So here's jump our version of double dutch. Oh, he's double dutch. Oh, those are real people. Yo, this guy's fucking. This guy's fucking, dude. Oh, yeah. Living the dream. Oh, dude, this guy's fucking, dude. Wow. Nice job. This guy's got nuts, dude. Thank you. Thank you. As the great taste of planters proves, Thank you. we're the reason why everybody yep. loves a nut. You're gonna love my nuts. What was that? The hell this guy just put in his mouth? Mm, uh, couldn't see it. it. Went by too quick. I'll show it off. I'll show it off. But when it eats in my mouth. Cool summer's day. How long will the flavor of carefree sugarless gum last? Carefree. Carefree. Been here all day waiting for this flavor to die off. Till the cows come home. Y'all come home. The, the cows came back from the club. Carefree peppermint with NutraSweet. The with NutraSweet. Mm. It's chemical. It says Nutra in it, so it's healthy. <laughs> Flavor <laughs> Nutritious. Sweetener. This man is a dentist, which raises the question, what brand of toothbrush do dentists use? Or... One of these, uh, I don't think they would use that plain-ass acrylic toothbrush like that. Looks like a Colgate kind of guy. Oral B. Oral B. Oral B. That's right. Oral B. The toothbrush more dentists oh, use. Oral B. Now, I'm minding my own business. And this guy on the phone is chewing my ear off about how I got to leave AT&T. Save big, we're better. 
So now I'm wondering what's in the fine print. Like, where do these savings come from? Who's he talking to? From uh, if I got a problem with my bill, I'd speak to a machine or can I maybe talk to somebody with a pulse? But they say switch and save. So I said to the guy, uh, let's put it in writing. The guy says, excuse me? Don't get pressured. Get the facts. You know and I know. It's still not 18. So he says, them oral bees nuts. This guy's playing hardball with the he's, phone company. He's playing right? hardball. I don't want to switch my phone line. You can oral bees nuts. So I says to the guy, I says, Something about the power oral of nuts. I can't explain. Andy McDowell on the power of Luna Mystique. When it touches oh. you, it's as if the power when of the moon is mine. And I can draw to me all that I desire. Possess the power, Luna Mystique. See, what the, what the hell was it? I think it's soap. An eccentric know. bunch of mismatched guests are about to indulge a tradition. The dinner party. Serve it. And if anybody complains, kill them. For all the right people. Once in our life we get asked to a classy house. At the wrong time. What's going on? Rid of her before she starts drinking your aftershave. Marsha Mason and Lauren Bacall had an all-star cast. Another dinner? Ugh. We are such depressing Rumor. white people. God. Dinner at eight. Now available at... Oh, dude, you go to Blockbuster and pick that up? Oh, dude, Blockbuster I love Blockbuster. Video. That's great to be young and... Oh, dude, Batman. It's me. You want to get crazy? Batman. Uh, you get nuts? It's me, Beetlejuice. Here's a kiss from David. If these movies pique Batman. your interest, you should see the more than 100 others will be showing this. Oh, I love that movie. Damn, that shit still holds up, doesn't it? Look at it, dude. Mommy. Excellent! The Movie Channel. A movie anytime you TMC, want TMC. Before they shortened it. Oh. You know it make me wanna shout. Shout. Power Stick lets you spin it. Clean my clothes up and shout. Throw my hands back and shout out spill some beans on me. Get my feet out of Shout Got some chocolate on me. From setting in till you're ready to wash them Whenever out. I hear this song, I just think of Animal House. You ever seen it. Animal House? I don't think so. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, you gotta check out Animal House. Women so fucking good. Shout, two to one. You know it makes me wanna shout. Come Get those cool stains on me. Want tough stains on me? New power stick shout. Soulful, dude. Can we interest you in a better hand soap? Let me, I can go. I don't need no lava soap, no. Ladies Damn, lava go. soap's got a fucking dope theme. That's dirty. I don't need no lava soap. Regular soap won't always lava work. Soap. But lava with pumice will. Paint, grease, dirt, whatever. Lava's better. Interested? Not particularly. No. I don't need no lava soap. Chat no. pro tip. Don't ever try to scrub your balls or dick with lava soap. You will end up with abrasions. Just saying. Holy shit. They have like lava rocks in the soap. It's got like a heavy duty pH balance. Rip your dick off. Yeah, don't do it. Get that dirty. No, no, no. Lava. But don't try to cope with it. You wash your entire body with it. Lava means too clean in Spanish. <laughs> it's too clean. <laughs> it's to clean our painting brushes with that stuff. It's got traces of turpentine in it. So mm. Turpentine. Recently, Four so Wheeland Off-Road Magazine tested the latest imports and domestics to determine this year's 4x4 of the year. Liquid hot mag march soap. Put in the, the microwave. Lava soap. 4x4 of the year winners to determine the best. Lava los manos? They compared power, performance, and handling. <laughs> and when it was over... Damn, that car is crazy now. The best of the best. Get a thousand dollars cash back or zero percent financing on Jeep Cherokee. Dude, they give you a thousand dollars if you get that car. Jeep Cherokees are pretty cool. Not as cool as like a you know a Wrangler or whatever, but mm -hmm. yo, Sour Mash, what up, dude? Thank you, man. Glamour. Metal Lord, what up, dude? Mom takes me to this place. I wanted ice cream, but my mom took me here. I wanted ice cream. Yeah, that was golden spoon for me as a kid. All right, fucking kid, you want ice cream? Mama's going to get you some ice cream. No, I want real ice cream. Mm -hmm. It had like mm -hmm. just as much sugar as regular ice cream, just less fat. But it's mm -hmm. like you're still eating like a whole bunch of sugar. I wonder what they sell here. Hey, this, hey, this looks like it's got some chemicals inside. Is this going to turn my poop blue? <laughs> Wow, it tastes like ice cream. TCBY, like the country's it. best yogurt. Fat free. So nice to me. Maybe I'll clean up my room. Nah. All the 
It's like that Seinfeld yogurt <laughs> episode. Exactly. <laughs> Major poop blue. How fast and portable are Wagner's new cordless? This is how you fucking do an ad, dude. Get on top of power a goddamn systems. plane. Just watch. Dude, that takes balls. The new cordless power roller automatically pumps paint to cover quickly and easily. What? With no runs or drips. Holy shit, he's actually The new cordless doing power that. brush is perfect for trimming any job, big or small. There's no better way to finish That's a job. That's how you fucking do it, dude. I love how they're calling it cordless. Like, yeah, with. obviously, it's a fucking paintbrush. Flying colors. Cordless. Anywhere. But that one has a, a comes with a thing, so you don't have to apply. What? The, you don't have to apply the paint. Cordless that, power. Cordless. That is so cool. Cordless power painting. Painting from Wagner, not just a whole lot faster, a whole lot better. Good ad. I want one. It's always good. You show your product, but you show yourself using it in like, you know, thousands of feet up high. No, now I'm in. Faster. Cool until it clogs. Well, you know, just put some paint thinner through it after you're done using it. A whole lot better. That's how you do it, dude. <laughs> Fuck, it's like a nightmare. The world's most durable car. Ooh, this one's bouncing here. Oh, they would overuse paint. Oh. And spooky. This is a scary car commercial. Oh, look at it, though. Be like zombies in that car. It's like a cursed video. Reminds me of like Death Race 2000. Is that the Colonel? Colonel Sanders? Mercedes Benz Endurance takes the decades to establish. I don't like this one. This one's scary. Yikes. Yeah, it was that one jump scare video with the countryside footage. Oh, man. Yikes. Is that a real commercial? Yikes. Fuck that commercial. Ooh, cassette. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea until you get a tape stuck in there and then it's fucked forever. Tonight, it's ragu fresh Italian pasta sauce. Oh, it's your group pasta sauce. Ragu? Here, here's bouncing. Fresh get it taste. Hey, you got ragu. Fresh taste of ragu on me. Ragu fresh Italian. Cooked with more crushed tomatoes for more fresh tomato taste. Mm. Ragu does make a good pizza sauce if you're making pizza at your house. Well, yeah, get down with a little bit of ragu. Now there's a remarkable Take it easy to keep it OS, you know? That turns ordinary tap water into cream. Then again, I don't know how to make my own pizza sauce. I'm sure that would taste way better. Drinking water in seconds. The Brita water filter. Brita filter. Simply pour tap water into the Brita pitcher. The patented filter removes the taste of chlorine. We were using these for a while. I had to get off of it because if you don't change that filter like the day it's out, Dude, I started getting these fucking horrible stomach pains from this shit. And I looked it up. People were like, yeah, if you don't change the filter like when you need to, shit will fuck your stomach up. I remember when I was a kid, we had one. And there would always be like charcoal deposits at the bottom of the water. Yeah, you see like shit in the water. And then you read the thing. It's like, oh, yeah, that's both to be stuff in your water. It's fine. I was like, it's what normal. the fuck? Why the fuck? Why would I even buy this? And I was like, all right. And I would just chug it and do it and I'd wake up in the middle of the night sweaty with like the sharpest stomach pain. Like, yeah, the filter, like, goes bad, and it fucks you up, man. Britta. Turn your tap water into great-tasting Britta water. Damn you, Britta. Damn you to hell. This music claps. Damn, this guy's about to get it. About to fucking work out, Why man. One person, like Sal above all do, 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 do. Dude, the muscle belly shirt. The crop top? Crop top for men? Oh, yeah. Is it motivation? You don't see that anymore. Oh, you do. Desire. Is it personal It's not on TV. Intelligence. The belly out? Uh. For maximum flexibility. There's no uh. magic formula. And there's really no secret. 
Damn, slow okay. motion makes everything epic. It's pretty popular nowadays. You guys are seeing belly shirts? Yeah, I've seen a bunch of them. Oh, shit. I will say this. I've been seeing mullets. Pops brought it back. Like, I've been seeing mullets. We went to, like, a brewery not too long ago last weekend, I think, and it was, like, dude, I saw, like, a good three, four, like, just normal, chilling mullet boys. Everybody's mom was like, you know what should look really good in? A mullet. I knew a guy recently who had a mullet. <laughs> he was so sick. <laughs> Your body's needs. Is this a sign for something? What is it? The fashion is always what? 20 years back or whatever yeah. the fuck they say. The finest, most There's always cycling old fashion styles and now simply... mullets are back. System to attain those needs. I guess the belly the shirts are in too. The reward is yours. For a free brochure, call anytime. A solo flex. Dude, I, I had would... a, a mullet in high school when it was not cool, and I did it on purpose. Mm -mm. Wasn't a good idea. Mm -mm. Like a free gift from a famous movie star Mullet's that may help you look 15 years younger. It's an incredible report. Baggy pants, fanny packs, and mullets. Actually true. I'm seeing those out public now. Called How to Use Amazing Oriental Secrets to Age-Proof Your Face and Your Body. You'll learn how to look 15 years younger. Did you see, did you guys see the, wow, look at that difference. Hmm. If you want to learn her secret on how to look 15 years younger, just like this, call today. This Here. one, we used a cool blue filter and made her not happy. This one, a warm red filter, and made her happy. Was younger, how to flush excess fat out of your body. Well, you can just flush it out. Is there like a little you go little like this and you lever? You go like this and you suck in. <laughs> flush it out. And just shit out. How to all make the fat. your eyes lie about your age. How to keep your hands young looking. <sighs> how to have a youthful neck. Wow, look how at that to neck. smooth away lines around your mouth. And this amazing report is yours. Absolutely free. Secrets on how to improve your face and body. You give these people your address and they'll never stop sending you shit. Yeah. Hello, I'm Nancy Kwan. Have you ever wondered why it's so hard to tell how old most Oriental women are? Since whoa, ancient whoa, whoa, times. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, she's got to share. She's saying she has secrets. Yeah, she said Oriental women, though. You can only call objects Oriental. Like if they have, like, let's say uh, an ancient oriental teapot but you can't call people that that's fucking racist i think this is this is from like it doesn't matter 1990 it doesn't matter we've had a beauty secret just recently she's sharing her secrets introduced to the it's her word western I, no. world our secret is called pearl cream and it's oh she uses pearl cream it's made from real pearls with pearl cream my wrinkles just seem to melt pearl away cream. Everyone keeps asking me what I've done about to look 15 so young. years younger. Genuine precious pearls are pulverized into a lustrous powder. Oh shit, they're rubbing like pearl, actual pearls into their face. That sounds expensive. Special oriental ingredients are then added. I got some pearl they can rub in their face. <laughs> incredible skin treatment. Pearl jam? I'd like to tell everyone to try pearl cream. I look so much younger trying to look in the mirror. I'm so vibrant. My smile, there's no lines around my mouth. For thinking about plastic it's just surgery. Pearl, it's just pearl. Essence of pearl on my face. A 30-day supply of Oriental Pearl Cream is only nineteen ninety-five. Twenty 20 bucks, man. For a little fucking little... That's 20 bucks in like the 90s. Little, yeah, so a little that's sample like 50, of goo. 50, 60 bucks now. I feel like creams that promise youth are like the biggest, scammiest fucking thing. Right? Because if yeah. it worked... We wouldn't even be talking about it. We'd all be like fucking doing this all day, right? But how many times have you seen that? We're like, I use this and it's got all the wrinkles off my face. I use this. It looks like I'm 10 years younger. It's like the fountain of youth. Yeah. Just buy it. It's only fucking $20. Why aren't you buying it? Then you buy it and you're just rubbing fucking bee wax on your face. And it's just like, it's just, you're just lubing up your face. Lube it up. <laughs> now, Oldest scam in the book, right? Remember that if it worked, we wouldn't be it wouldn't even be a conversation. Port full of incredible oriental youth secrets. If you order right now, it's yours. Absolutely. There's some two hundred dollar creams that do it. Now I'm gonna buy. Be free with your pearl cream. 
try it. Imagine though you fucking rub it in and you just look like you're fucking 17 again. You're like, oh man, what happened? I remember, what was that? It was a cartoon where they had some magic stuff like that. I think it might have been The Simpsons. Days. The Fountain you of Youth. Don't look it was like some weird a Futurama, cream. maybe. I can't if remember. If your friends don't actually accuse you of having had a facelift, just age well. Simply return the unused portion for a full refund. They'll take the unused cream back? Yeah, but you know they're going to change their P.O. box by the time. That's fucking gross, isn't it? It's like toilet seats. If you bought a toilet seat and you're like, it didn't work, I want to return it. They're like, just keep it. They want the fucking cream back. They're going to scoop it out and put it in another one and give it to somebody else. Top it off. <sighs> they want that 20 bucks, dude. That's so gross to Ew. take your goo and give it to somebody else after you're like, bullshit, it just made my face all oily. I returned your pearl goo and I uh, I refilled it for you. Here you go. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, stinky. Look, oh. Years younger, your no, don't dude. You of having had a Fuck, be kind. Rewind. Fucking twenty dollar goo <laughs> made my face all oily and gross. I'll show them. All right, ship it back. Facelift. Simply return the unused. Yeah, no need for, for Botox a or a facelift. Just rub this bee wax in your face. <laughs> Rubbing this cream all over me. Nothing's happening. <laughs> it's the 21st century. Now your computer phone Whoa. facts and video camera all right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're predicting the future? 1996 predicting what 2019 is going to be like. Dave says this is a good one. Let's see it. It's the 21st century. Okay. Now your computer phone facts and video camera all right here. Oh, Not wrong. Whoa, no, but they got a screen on it. Kind of accurate. Look at this stuff. Wait, is that a CD-ROM? Honey, that's a collectible. Collectible? Yep, everything has gotten smaller. Except that Schwab retirement account you started back in 19... <laughs> Except for Schwab retirement. In 96, you didn't have to pay high commissions or annual fees. And over time, that really added up. Wow, paper money. Collectible. Damn, dude. Collectible. We'll help you get started with our free investor source book because you can't retire until your money goes to work. Kind of a cool idea, though, to do a 90s commercial, predict the future, and he's at a garage sale with all the newest 90s shit. It costs a lot less money. Actually, a good uh, idea instead of doing like what the 80s did where everywhere you go is a giant Bulby CRT TV monitor, yeah. and that's the future. This thing's got big and bulbous -y. I still love the idea from Demolition Man that everything turns into Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, with the, that's the future I want to live in. With Champagne Baja Blast. But if they don't have Mexican pizzas, I will riot. Yep. Oh, but his phone has like the antenna on it. <laughs> yeah, they they should have got rid of that. They they were like, oh, dude, fucking 2019, 30 years in the future. Dude, we're never getting rid of antennas. There's no way. It's how impossible. Gonna, how else are you going to make the call? Everything has gotten some collectible. Mexican we'll pizza's back. Yeah, Lou, you were mad about that one. Uh, is it back yet? When did it come back? Because I need to have it. Xandar! Xandar! If you have one wish to make, make it big. The new Broadway musical that's... Broadway big. They made big into a Broadway I mean, musical? Fine. Big or small, you'll fall in love with Big. Big, the new Broadway musical at the Schubert Theater. Wish you had Schubert. tickets? Call Telecharge now. <laughs> two one two. Which was starring Chet Hanks. Two three nine six two hundred. What's got Dion acting so sweet? Oh, I'm sorry. Dion Sanders. It could only be new honey frosted Wheaties. The new frosted flake that's kicked with sucking Wheaties down Wheaties. For a prime time taste. Can I get anyone a beverage? New Honey Frosted Wheaties. It's sweet energy. They're still back there. Don't worry, love. You're right. It's Crocodile Dundee. Fucking guy. I am. That's right. This is Don't worry, love. I've got it all under control. It's got more cargo space than a passport. Uh-huh. The ground clearance of an explorer. Dundee. Yeah, but... Oh, did I mention? It gets much better gas mileage than a Jeep Cherokee. How could you say? 
Subaru Outback. Who else first sports utility wagon? God damn. Subaru is fucking pog. Cappuccino. He's cappuccino. Oh, just making about. the frother noises with his mouth. Oh yeah, they're about <laughs> to, they're about to get it on, dude. So your sex drive doesn't end until you do. Dude. Yeah, that's what you think. Cappuccino from Maxwell House, the magic without the machine. Anybody confirm when it does die off? We got any boomers in chat? Oh yeah, about fifty-three. It's done. Dick <laughs> shrivels <laughs> up. It just stops working and falls off. Yeah, what, what age does it just shrivel up and stop working? Old people still doing it? I don't know. Maybe after some cappuccino. You don't mm. think after cappuccino they'd get him going? That would just make him shit. Stimulate the whole area. 43, that shit is still five times a week. Good for you, man. Good God. No heads coming in here five times a week at 43. God damn. Sheesh. 58 still knocking. Woo! Sheesh. Trev's 80 years old. Woo! Sheesh. Proud of you. My wife is dope. Y'all give it up for this guy. <laughs> but he gets no head. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's popping off, dude. Dude, I love it. You see in the Twitch chat? My wife's the fucking first. Still getting it first. Give me that cappuccino. I'm going for dick. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Told you, Lou, it don't stop till you do. Hey, I think it's a case-to-case -case basis. <laughs> hey, right? He's just very lucky. <laughs> See, for me, it stopped at 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Too much McDonald's God. is what my doctor said. Oh, yeah. I watched the fucking Super Size Me. That yeah. was the first thing to go. After eating that shit for a week, his dick stopped working. It just fell off. He's like, it just, I remember watching that thing. He's like, yo, my dick stopped working. To us, the magic without the machine. Okay, too much info. No, it's a PSA. Watch the fucking Super Size Me documentary. I'm sure. <laughs> You'll see it. it. They Mick dicked him. It took his Mick dick away. Ronald McDonald this... choked the life out of his dick. <laughs> All that cholesterol. <laughs> Is your idea of better TV? How about this? Or better yet? Holy shit. Oh, I thought it was um somebody else. This? Yo, these TVs are what the fuck? These real the ass TV? TVs? I like that one. That one's kind of sick. <laughs> it's like a giant bunny. How about this? Or better yet, this. Clog your dick you up. Me, it's not the TV, but what's on it. Like direct TV. 61 movie channels, 28 music channels, 14 news and information channels, and 12 family channels. All together, only on direct TV. Direct TV. So you can really channel your family's interests. I was a Dish Network kind of guy. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Call 1 800 Direct TV and ask Still see satellites on like every house. Even if they don't use them, they're just like, yeah, it's up there. No one's going up. We there. don't want to take it down. It's like, a, you know, it's tradition. Our special Dish. movie author. Uh, Too bad you only could watch one at a time. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember when like this thing started to make that change over from everybody had cable to finally, like, I remember people, I remember having conversations like, dude, I can't wait for the day when I can just buy HBO. Like, yeah. that's all I want. I don't want to spend all that money for all that shit I can't watch. I just want the one thing to watch. Yeah, we had Satellite, and I honestly only watched, like, five different channels. Like, HBO and Cinemax, I'm just going to lump those all into one channel. Exactly. Fox, Cartoon Network, <laughs> Comedy Central, and G4. And that was pretty much it. Oh, okay, now we have it, and it's fucked. <laughs> and now it's like you got to pay for each one. And now they keep climbing in price, too, right? Like, um, Netflix keeps going up, too. They keep charging more and more and more. I am one with my Pizza Hut Rawlings game. Once you have all the streaming services, you're kind of just paying a cable bill, huh? Game ball. I am a human highlight. Are you talking about Tech TV? I did watch Tech TV before it turned into G4 Tech TV and then just into G4. I used to love watching the screensavers mm -hmm. back in the day. No. I Yo, hurry up. Am Awesome. Come on. But I ate the whole pizza that comes with the ball. So I Stink. am incredibly slow. I'm leaving. The game ball, $4.99 with any pizza. Keep the ball, share the pizza. For wait a minute, wait a minute. You get a ball with for your $5. pizza? For $5. For $5. 
cool. So he he's fucking having a heart attack? Is that what's going on? I mean, incredible. Like in real life, he's on the floor, and there's like Blue this fucking guy ate a pizza before he played. Oh, I Flow. shouldn't have got the stuffed crust. <laughs> it's, kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a weird commercial if you're Pizza Hut. It's like yeah. I'm leaving. The game ball, four ninety nine with any pizza. Keep the ball, share the pizza. Fool, you'll love the stuff we're made of. Long titles are out. Ow. Teams are in. Inboxes are out. Emails in. Travel like this, out. Travel like this. Cool monitor. In. Walls are out. Wheels are in. No matter how far out stuff gets. The 90s was like the king of making fun of the cubicle life too, huh? Yeah. Like they'd make fun of cubicle lifestyle all the time. Oh, cubicles are still a thing. Yeah. We'll always but nowadays we put plants in them and make them all cool looking. Yeah. Always have what's in. Back then it was like just cold, dead. Yeah, like office space. Yeah. Furniture for what's next. Hawthorne. Mortgage payments, college tuition, career choices. People can get so lost in their day to day concerns that they simply avoid planning for their retirement. Unfortunately, that's Fuck, life. that guy yeeted. Holy shit. It's like an ostrich. <laughs> dude, his ass is out, dude. <laughs> Yo, he's like a. Just gave up. Come and take me, Moon Knight. Bussy up, yeah. Oh, Moon Knight. New York Life has all kinds of life insurance policies to help make sure you enjoy your retirement. We can even help you catch up if you started planning late. That kid just starts shoveling dirt on your face. <laughs> Buries your head. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> New York Life, the company you keep. We got a lifeguard. Help. Sure, people ask me why I want to be a McCain French fry. Whoa, dude. Kind of glad Mr. Potato Head was more cartoony, because this is kind of freaking me yeah, out. This is gross. It's like in between kind of scary, but also like, just throw this bitch in the oven, a little bit of you chives. You just get that thing checked out. That might be cancer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Those unsightly growths. Got that I ear mean, or whatever they're called. Ugh. Potato, for crying out loud. Like, I know this one spud ended up in one of those instant mashed potato boxes. He's on a shelf somewhere in Wyoming. I mean, is that a life? I mean, McCain, French fries, they're loved all over the world. And honestly, I kind of like the idea of being adored far and wide. Feels good right here. McCain potatoes become the most loved fries in the Ooh. world. McCain, the world. Oh, the spiral curly mm. fries, though. Dude, you can get the Arbo Arby's curly fries in the store now. Did you know that? No, I didn't. They're actually really good. It's number one. Crinkle cut, but dude, the fucking curlies. <laughs> Noise. French fry. McDonald's invites you to play the Disney Masterpiece Collection Trivia Chip. Dave's archiving more right now. Got a 97 VHS tape with UFC 13 on it. Oh, dude, the Go old Bell UFCs Ford. are fucking dope. Because they used to be able to kick each other in the balls and shit. Yeah, they had like no rules. No right? rules. Dude, I was watching um, every now and then because I'll sometimes those clips will get me like old uh, UFC will get me. This one came up the other day. It was like this gigantic dude, like where they wouldn't put you against the same weight class. Even. Yeah, they didn't have cla weight classes. What was the guy's name, dude? It was nuts. Oh, I got to find it, man. It was probably the fight UFC one where they put that. Uh... Oh, Jesus This Christ. guy. I'd never really? seen this guy. No, I've never seen that guy either. Hong Man Choi. Dude, look at this. And you know, this guy's like tall as shit. I probably can't show any of this because... Dude, his reach is probably insane too. Look at that. Yeah, like... His arm is like the half of that dude's body. I don't know what... Um, look at Looking down at some of these guys. I love when these clips will come up. I'll be like, holy shit, dude. Look at that kick. Woo! His foot is huge. Does it look fo that one looks Photoshop. Yeah, it looks Photoshop. <laughs> that one looks Photoshop. Yeah, that foot. How are you even getting close, man? Legs for days. With the blue hair. Yeah, oh, he went dude. Super Saiyan God. It's like a little child. Boom. This guy's massive. Dude, it's Sagat, real life Sagat, dude. Insane. Japan at uh, freak show fights. Yeah, I don't know what Challenge. was going on. So what's the wonderful thing about Tiggers? Tiggers. Don't want to. Can't show that. We'll get in a lot of trouble. Oh. 
you buy any of these I McDonald's. remember this, actually. Ooh, this bitch right here. Mm. I haven't had one of those in a fucking minute. I had one like six days ago. Mm-hmm. It's favorites. Pick the right answer to questions about Disney Masterpiece Collection videos and win every time. Yeah, I remember when they re-released that Winnie the Pooh movie. My mom bought it for me. I put it in my TV VCR combo and it ate the fucking tape. Damn. Yeah, it was very sad. Damn, dude. Sorry to, sorry about that, man. Yeah. Scarred me it's for life. Be magic. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that movie. <laughs> I never saw it to this day. <laughs> I used to love the cartoon show, though. You remember the animated series of mm-hmm. Winnie the Pooh? That was good. With Quit the Foo Wobbin. Super Saiyan Turk. What up, dude? Yo, 43 months. Fight. How you doing, man? Barry Wise, what up, man? It's me, Sam Breakstone. I'm here to tell you just hey, how I'm I make my sour cream. Come and eat my sour cream. Get oh. a spoon, kid. It's like ice cream. Sam I eat sour crazy. cream, dude. I love sour cream. You don't want to eat it out of the, out of the cup. Remember when I ate sour cream off Pops' finger during our ASMR stream? Yeah. Ah! A break star! Hang on, kid. Ah! Sam's been proven Everyone it's loves a-, a big bowl of sour cream on a hot summer <laughs> day. Come and get it, folks. 1882. Works. Every time. When a sour cream is this thick and this rich. Oh, it's thick. Whoops. It has to be Breakstone. Wow. Oh. Breakstone. I don't think Boy, I've ever seen that brand of sour cream. NBC it's always the crude sins. The orange and blue one or yellow and blue. Uh-oh. It's Will practicing. Warning. These Warning. NBC- Will Smith is practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's gonna get joked on for the rest of his days now about that, huh? It's probably the biggest Oscar moment ever. The biggest like meme ever, dude. He's been practicing for that since fucking nineteen ninety six. Wishing somebody would. Too controversial. Why don't you tuck your shirt in? All these 90s sitcoms. <laughs> the fucking dummy getting thrown. Always love a good dummy gag. Monday. I remember that brotherly love show. I don't. I don't know why I do, but I do. A little John- Everybody's like a little Hanson, Jonathan Taylor, Thomas E. Hanson kind of yeah. looking guy. A little mbop, beep a dop. You're watching Malibu Shores on NBC. I don't NBC. remember Malibu Shores, though, that's for sure. The night she nearly lost her life, mm. he was there to save it. That's as scared as I've ever been in my whole life. A love she never expected. He's kind of cute. Was always meant to be. He doesn't make sense. I don't make sense. Together we make sense. Marissa Tomei, oh, Christian Tomei Slater. Tomei and Christian Slater. Oh. Rosie Perez. I'm going to fall in love with you. Rosie Perez. NBC Monday. The V. When was the last time we saw White Men Can't Jump? Mm, A long time ago. That movie's so fucking good. Did you watch it recently or something? No, Rosie Perez. It's like my favorite role of her. She does the she does Jeopardy or whatever. Oh, it's a good movie. Yeah, for sure. Woody, exactly that. Wesley, and now with three point nine Woody and Wesley financing for up to forty eight months, it's a. You know how Rosie Perez got her career started? Uh uh. She was a fly girl on In Living Color. Oh, like the they had like little the back, dancer little girls, dancer yeah. girls in the corners. Yeah, when they were done, they would be dancing and shit. But for the commercial breaks and stuff, right? Yeah, and she's in a bunch of like new stuff too. She's still working. Is more clear cut than ever. In fact, it's an offer so solid, it's carved in stone. Get three point nine percent APR financing for forty eight months on any accord. Paul Abdul, no, it was Rosie. Word. Hey, boss. Bob. Gentlemen. Frankie. Hi, fellas. Hi, Lee. Do they really think they can pass as him? No. People know the genuine article when they see it, like the genuine Whoa. Yellow Pages. It has the information. What's his name again? Darth Vader. Easier. Nine out of ten users. Guy from Sandlot. Darth Vader. Yellow Pages. James Earl Jones. Love James that guy. Earl Jones. Lost my way to Vegas. Bell Atlantic, the heart of communication. It's him. I hear uh, the Grinch, too, when he talks. Mufasa. Does he sing that song? You're a mean one. Is that him? I don't know. Or did he narrate it? 
I don't know. Maybe like a mandala effect. It might thing. be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's a singer, so I don't think he did. Is that him? Bella. That is him. Landing the heart of communication. Sandlot. Oh shit! God damn. Look for the You're a mean one, Mr. Mufasa. <laughs> the ultimate deep dish hits the spot. So wow. That is him. Oh, okay. She's so high, it's the ultimate pie. People who eat real deep dish are just like cringing right now. That is not a deep dish. Like, what the fuck is that? That is not fucking deep dish. Boris Karloff. Oh, saying it. D boss, what up, dude? Sandlot commentary. It's a possibility, man. He's on a medium, just eight ninety nine. Any second medium, only four ninety nine. So get it now. Just tell us how Domino's ultimate deep dish pizza. Wow! Now I don't know what the fuck that is. It's like a quarter dish. Not, That's more not of a deep. pan pizza, but they didn't want to say pan pizza. Pan pie. I'll call Domino's. Domino's. Want to know a little secret about education? It'll improve Jennifer Ashton. your sex life. I'm serious. Take literature. Telling a girl she walks in beauty like the night. It's going to go over much better than, hey, Jennifer baby. Aniston has never aged. Mm -mm. She still looks this good. Let's what was Brad some... Pitt thinking? Just saying. Go over Just much saying. Better. I'm still upset about Brangelina. I'll never get over it. Better than, Damn hey, man. baby. Or vocabulary. You can't be clueless if words like bustier or liaison come up. Plus, an education makes you smart and smart as sexy. I mean, what girl ever said, ooh, who's that dumb guy over there? Who's that fucking dumb dumb? I mean, if he's got a if he's hanging dong? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that dumb dumb dong hanging dummy over? I've there? heard girls say that about me, but not in a good way. <laughs> They're like, "Who's that fucking dumb guy Different over there?" Different tone. Yeah. The more you know. Just don't be dumb. Put that on your Tinder profile. <laughs> this guy is that a 1920s twerk picture? He's popping it. He's throwing it back. <laughs> in oh, I remember when I used to throw it back in Paris back in 1920 aught. For their time. Olympic athletes are the most photographed people on earth. And for 100 years, Damn. more of those pictures have been captured. The greatest. Damn, he's about to the greatest. punch your fucking more face right there. More of those pictures have been captured on Kodak film than any other. <laughs> Kodak, what film is in your yeah. camera? Just a reminder that may help you keep those arteries nice and clear. 100% pure Florida orange juice. Fat-free and cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like a nice twisty straw. Can you imagine seeing an adult drink out of a crazy straw? Mm, it takes about a minute and a half of sucking before it gets to my mouth. Those were so cool when I was a kid, though. It's fun. Cholesterol you can only use them like a couple times before they get clogged up with mold and shit, though. Yeah, you gotta run that hot water through it. You gotta, yeah, you gotta good. suck hot water through it like you're stealing gas before it touches your lips. You go, oh, fuck. Get a little cleaning detergent in there. Okay, but clean it. Well, I was eight, okay? Are you drinking enough? Molly, time for your flea control. It's something new. A new spray? But you hate... This is like Hallmark card animation. Mm. Fleas. Dilbert. It's all hairy, you know? I hate flea powder. And I hate flea dip. Okay. Did your booty tips one? Yeah, a little bit of fabuloso. Suck it through and just pull out before it gets <laughs> don't, to your lips. Don't do it. Like you're siphoning gas. A treat. Program the safe and easy flea control that works. Just mix it with a treat once a month. Guess what, Molly? You just had your flea control. That's it. That's it. See your veterinarian for program That's and it. other flea control options, and program for dogs. Let your oh. spirit loose in Montreal. Montreal? Let it soak up beauty like a sponge. Then sit yourself down and contemplate the Guys going in on that shit, dude. The world needs more Canada. And this is our... Dude, this guy's macking down. He's like 80 years old, dude. Yeah. She's like 20. Canada. And this is our Canada. I heard a lot of like uh, Canadians don't like French Canadians. 
and the other way around as well. Not sure, though, because I'm not where, Canadian. Where are you getting this Louis fact I, I, from? I'm just getting it from the top of my head. You're pulling hate out of nowhere. I, I'm just saying. All right, we're going low-fat, fresh turkey, lettuce, tomato on wheat. What? No Hellman's. Hellman? Now you can eat low-fat and still have great taste with Hellman's low-fat mayonnaise dressing. See? Oh, fuck running I around. love Hellman's Mayo. Is San Francisco running around these hills. Now you can eat low fat. Those hills are fucking steep, dude. Look at that shit. Like, dude. this picture does not do it justice. They're like almost a 90 degree incline. Oof. It is insane. Low fat mayonnaise dressing. It tastes so- oh, that was a lot. That's a lot. That's dude. too much. Unless oh, you're man. eating like a BLT or something. That's a lot. That is way too much mayo. Delicious. You won't believe it has. Oh, my God. They put it in between every. They're like lettuce, mayo, onion, mayo, pickled mayo, meat, mayo, tomato, mayo, more pickled mayo. That's a lot of mayo. Mayo, tomato, mayo, a little bit of meat, mayo. I had a guy like that at Subway. Bread mayo. wanted just mayo on everything. (laughs) And oil and vinegar. Because I love when you squish it. You see it come out of all the different parts. Oh, fuck. You won't believe it has only one gram of fat. What? No, Hellman's. Hellman's low-fat mayonnaise dressing. She needs oh, more mayo. God, it's dripping all over her fingers. She's going to have to suck it off. Bring out the Hellman's and bring out the best. You know what I hate? Pain. That's why Rest I love Rest in peace, cream. Regis. R.I.P. with his ass cream. What is he Who wants to be a millionaire? Here's some ass cream. Ass cream with aloe. <laughs> Vasper cream. Asper when I cream. get mine a muscle aches, I just rub it in for fast relief that lasts fast. for hours. Mm. And it's odor free. Why live with pain? You're going to love it. Aspa cream does not contain aspirin. Cover up your ass. In focus this evening, a question. Is there a dark side to the brave new world of PCs? Well, researchers are now looking into why some surfers are going under and may not know it. NBC's Cassandra Clayton has our report. I don't like this. Horrible has gone on with computers. Dude, this guy lives in Cyberville? Welcome to Cyberville, where all the computers have run amok. All right, welcome to Cyberville. ASL? 1996, yeah, they thought uh, Y2K was coming. All the computers wow. were going to start choking us. The cords were going to start wrapping around our necks, choking us out. I heard there's like a 64-bit uh, Y2K that's coming up. What do you mean? I don't know if it's true. could just be, you know, hmm. one of those conspiracy theories. It's 7.30 in the morning. Stephen Longer is home from the factory night shift. Home to his fiance, Michelle Good. Hello. <laughs> that fucking mullet, too. Michelle. Fresh out of work. Where's my fucking Good. kid? Hello. Hello. <laughs> and then he logs on at Cyberville. Home to on his, his Packard Bell PC. The computer. I can spend oh, six, it's IBM. seven, yeah. and eight hours there without this even This man knows out. quality. Yeah. On it. Suddenly, I'll look at the clock and notice, well, gee, I've been on this thing a long time. Oh, he's like addicted to writing emails. Oh, no. In he's 96. addicted to Yahoo chat. This guy's addicted to his Dell in 96. Sometimes I won't even remember how long I've been on. A real tiny mouth. Every time we talk, some of these little words coming out. I was pretty addicted to AIM chat. I just love in, hopping um, in these random school. I just love hopping in these random rooms and talking to these people. So I wouldn't fun. go in the chat rooms. I had, like, friends that I met on MySpace, which is even more shady when you think about it. Mm-hmm. And I would sit on there and role play as Sephiroth for, like, six hours straight. Steve, thank you for the Prime 15. <laughs> he doesn't remember, but Michelle does. I think he's addicted to the Internet. He comes home from work, he gets right on the computer, and he's on it till he goes to bed. Damn, dude. I mean, maybe if you change your hairstyle. <laughs> he just goes on there. He starts writing emails. He starts doing instant messaging. I just I haven't had a conversation with a guy in months. Yeah. She just doesn't understand how exhilarating the internet can be. He's, he's addicted. What is he doing? What, let's see what he's typing. What is this guy writing? <laughs> Subject. <laughs> tough love. Can't read it. Also drew my attention to your homepage. Damn, he's like writing. Russian physician should probably read. Damn, he's like his he's emails. Reddit poster. His emails are like a Reddit post. Yeah. Thanks for making the material 
poo holy available. <laughs> it does. It does poo holy. <laughs> Publicly. It's a whole new world right at our fingertips. Oh, he got the ball. The track ball, dude. Mm, just thumbing it. Mm. Si no, Queen, thank you for the Prime 18. What is this? What is he doing? America Online. What is he writing? Cyberspace. The internet. He's entering a lobby for a public room. Oh, Net. America Online. It's AOL. Talk to people. Get Someone say hi to me. You're in Teen Chat 17. Kermit oh. is better. Yes, I eat hot dogs. Kermit? Not quite Kermit. Someone say hi to me. Yahoo. Hi. Hi, JM. How do you know me, Jay Moore? Whoa, dude. These are weird. Why is he in teen chat? Whoa. He looks like a full-grown adult. <laughs> he's like married, just got home from work, and he enters teen chat Where 17. is Chris Hansen when you need him? Oh, my God. Just arguing that Kermit's the best, like, green character? No, Get the him. Hulk. No, Jolly Green Giant. Rock and roll. Hello, everyone. Information. Go place. Museums. This is 24 hours a day. Psychologists are beginning to see what some describe as computer addiction. People who are not just surfing the net, but getting stuck in its web. What is similar to involvement in uh, internet activity and gambling and drinking and um, drug use? is uh, instant gratification, instant response. Aren't we all? We're all addicted now. Hey, what's up, Pantsu Jutsu? Detective P.E. Jones, David Tuna, Raicharu. How you doing? You getting that instant gratification? I hope so. <laughs> Everybody's in chat. Look at you. You're typing in chat, and you're getting instantly gratified when you type your message about how great Kermit is. Back in Pennsylvania, Michelle watches TV while Stephen... Oh, look at her all okay. alone watching TV. If she's watching TV, who is she to talk shit on him for using a computer? Isn't it like basically the same thing with less interaction? She watching Jerry Springer. Yeah, fuck that bitch. The net. Together, but alone. You can hear him arguing on Jerry Springer. I want him to be on it less, and I want us to spend more time together so we can get to know each other again. And become what we were That's before sad, the computer. That's sad, actually. <laughs> that picture of him. I'm the moderator of Teen Chat 17. <laughs> I'm a fucking mod, dude. I worked my way up in Teen Chat 17. By the way, we love our mods. Fuck, dude. The slow zoom out on his PC. <laughs> and he's typing, typing about Kermit. Yo, Dave, if you find any more local tv news stories dude Go grab them man don't exclude them because i think most of them are copyright free because when they made this shit they're just trying to entertain people for a news story for the week and then forget about it why doesn't she get like a laptop and like join in and people are addicted to online uh, conversation i don't know what the hell it is welcome to teen chat 17 oh he's so into it dude I did that one and make it a I'm really more creeped humorous. out that he was in Teen Chat 17. Oh, can't wait to go Teen Chat 17. <laughs> I'm gonna go fight for Kermit. And then he logs in and he's a different dude. You know, the thing about Kermit is, it ain't easy being green. I'm there now. Is Who's there? Okay, yeah, I do. You couldn't even tell who was typing. Yeah. It didn't say the username. It was just the message. I think he just has his resolution set wrong so nobody could uh, track him like the FBI. I have my resolution set too low because I just love to keep it super anonymous. Damn, dude. Holy shit. He just ignores me, ignores me. I'm trying to watch Jerry Springer. He doesn't want to watch it with me. He just wants to type with the chat. What was he typing there? Conversation. Oh, yeah, this is it. Tough love. He's writing emails about tough love and joining teen chat. So weird, man. I'm really creeped out. What kind of lobbies can he join? So strange. And he put that right out there. I'd be like, yo, what is he doing, though? Do you even know that he's in teen chat 17? Yeah, he addicted. He's addicted. Eating glizzies, he's addicted. Ignoring his fiance for Teen Chat 17. Dude, Teen Chat 17 is just lit. That's all. You guys don't know. Alice, Las Vegas, the world's greatest magic. 
Magic. There, Flu. He's doing magic. Fucking magic, that's right. The amazing power of Theraflu. Isn't that wow. Lousy couplet. New, no non drowsy Theraflu couplets. Amazing. We went to the big guy. We laid the whole thing. What's going on here? No, <laughs> Just two dudes hanging out? Oh two my dudes. god! We're playing Sonic the Hedgehog, sir. Oh my god. Are you Elvis making toys? Does he have the Thanos glove? We're just distracted. Like a Knuckles. It's Knuckles in his own game. We can play as Knuckles. Knuckles. Yeah, it's fucking luck. Technology. Knuckles. Technology. So you can play Slap Knuckles. Slap it on the Sonic top and you can play as Knuckles and the other dude. You just laughed at it. You're fired. Sonic oh. and Knuckles, the first DLC, by the way. I will leave you both to live in the snow and figure out your own survival techniques. Mm -hmm. You're out of my shop. So Fuck. did you know that Sonic 3, they wanted to make it larger and longer, but they didn't have enough time, so then they came out with Sonic and Knuckles so you could slap actually it. finish the story. Just slap the it on top? Yeah. So we sold the whole thing to Sig? Who's laughing now? Fat man! <laughs> sold it to Sig. <laughs> So Sega never made it. It was the elves. Wait, so Knuckles is an elven character? Yeah. Friday morning, the holiday start at 6 a.m. at Walmart. The 700-watt Magic Chef microwave is only $88. And a well-built bread maker is just 66 Damn, dude. Fucking one-pound loaf programmable bread maker. I kind of want one. I'd love to make my own bread. I've never done that before. Mm. What about you? You ever made your own bread? Kelly's made bread from scratch. This oh shit. Oh, my God. Collapse, dude. A little bit of mm, butter and some butter. fucking jam on that bitch. Ooh, $6. Incredible savings. Friday only. Five hours only at Walmart. This 15-stitch sewing machine is $99. And an AT&T cordless phone is $69.99. Did you know that there was a an attachment for the Game Boy Color? That was a Singer sewing machine, and it could sew little Mario emblems on shit. The fuck? Yeah. I want that so bad. This ain't a Louis fact, is it? No, no? it's real. I want it more than what anything. What was it called? I'll just look up uh, Singer uh, Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color? Louis is correct? What the fuck? A Game Boy Color sewing machine? I want it so bad. This, you have to be kidding me. Is the Game Boy sewing machine? It fucking slides into it. Yeah, that's a modded Game Boy, obviously. I was gonna say. Yeah. What the fuck? Why though? <laughs> Actually, yeah. What? This officially licensed know. sewing machine is almost entirely controlled by the Nintendo Game Boy. I don't mean for every level you pass, you get one stitch. This isn't a game. The Game Boy is simply used as an interface Why not? for the sewing machine. It tells the machine. Oh, cool! I fixed my collar. But Thanks, get to the Game part Boy. Where it shows the emblem. I know. Well, let's what see it do something cool use, though. What letters and symbols to write, and how to embroider Super Mario onto a T-shirt. My name is Elliot, and you're watching the Retro Dude, Future. Dude, what? Let's find out more. If your mom had this, she could turn any shirt into a Mario shirt. This one still connects using the link port, but then sits flush with the unit. What a waste. Just crazy that this works. Open over into its whole English software on so random. To get of all the things that you can... Um, I've seen this guy's videos. He's got some cool uh, modding stuff, too. Jesus, what? You could fucking fish with this thing? Oh, yeah. Pocket sonar and loads of other little things. This is just another product that we can see here controlled by a game. Show me doing a Mario emblem. One. Just that making straight lines. You had the fishing one? That's insane, dude. We gotta... I wanna see if it does like a Mario some, emblem or something. What do you it say? Does, it does like, it does like a mushroom control thing. Patterns like a into stuff. the software. Which oh, it's got some stuff. It's all controlled by the Game Boy. So fucking random. Available, which is one of the... Oh, you got a game that had oh, the cool shit. I didn't shit. know that. Rarest pieces of software for the Game Boy being sold for thousands of dollars online. 
This allowed the sewing Let you make bootleg Nintendo shit. All you gotta do is get a flashcard. Machine to embroider. However, another piece of equipment was required, which is extremely rare and nearly impossible to find. But I found one. Wow. He got one. Very expensive and often not complete. Mine is missing a few parts, thing. but I'm working on sliding rail. What the fuck, dude? That's so insane. That's all we have time for today. To see he how this works, show, hit show the subscribe button and stay tuned for the second part of this video. Oh, Thanks for watching. a second part. Oh. No. Damn. Second part. Fuck. It's in the description. It's got to be in the description. It's not. Fuck. Whoa. He never made a second part. He's a liar. Now I'm sad. Pretty insane, though. 69.96. Friday morning from 6 to 11. The holidays start with savings. The holidays start at Walmart. This one actually has the Mario on the Getting bootleg Mario shit, dude. Show me the end result. Show me the end result. That's all I want to see. Show me the end result, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. And it's good, classic-looking Mario. The power of a Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color is so cool, man. Not as cool as Game Boy Advance, in my opinion, but still really fucking cool. It's Way time for the McDonald's Holiday Film Fest. Featuring great movies like Field of Dreams. If you build it. Back to the Future. <laughs> the Land <laughs> Before Time. <laughs> and Fievel Goes West. An American Tale. Each just $5.99 with a purchase of any large Field of Dreams. Will toward men. And cats. What are you getting little Al for the holidays? He's growing by leaps and bounds. Remember his size this week? Oh. No. Got thick. Better come into Radio Shack. We have hundreds. Ooh, look at this the shit, kids. dude. Kids want most. Woo, little pinball. I don't think they want that. And besides, with a gift from Radio Shack. Ooh, yeah. Shack, oh, dude, matching headset. Now we can pretend like we're working at McDonald's. <laughs> matching headset walkie-talkies? No question. One size fits out. This fucking shit is pants? I mean, he's a grown boy. Fits out. He got a dumper. His ass just grew. Oh shit, I'm dummy thick. I'm kicked up. Radio Shack, you've got <laughs> questions, you've got answers. We've got you dummy <laughs> thick. Guess who's coming to dinner? Ah! Where are you? Fuck. I love Ab that movie. Abbott and Costello. A salute to the funniest comedy team from their biggest fan. Abbott and Costello. Absolutely. Their greatest Who's bit. on first, but Joseph? movies and outtakes never seen anywhere. Got Abbott and Costello. Who's on Jerry first? Thanksgiving night. Abbott and Costello. No, who is on first? Oh, Who's who? Gosh. Who is oh, who? Sorry. Who's who? With fax, voicemail, speakerphone, and an integrated CD-ROM system. Daddy, let's do this book tonight. The Compact Presario will let you do things that may have seemed impossible before. She brushed? I'm sure we're all about Teen Chat 17. <laughs> we're talking about Kermit with my friends. What the hell are you doing in Teen Chat 17? Hey, CNT, this is Margaret. You remember the Tony Jumpstart third grade? game we had with that robot who like taught you math and shit i remember doing typing games and shit look up jump start bunny. sometime not right you don't have to do it right we had a now super bunny but uh, dude game. that shit clapped it was a clapper mm -hmm. uh oh there he is mr stiller jerry uh r.i.p what's the monthly fee no fee no fee no fee, no fee. these two together and this isn't like is this it's not Seinfeld, but it is. Yeah, in my opinion, a better comedic duo than Abbott and Costello. Can we agree? <laughs> they they, they have, fucking clap. Should have had their own spinoff, huh? Make yeah, I would have watched calls it. A month and we'll subtract 20% off your AT&T bill. Wow! I'm sick of the circles! You got circles? No calling circles. You could save to anybody in the U.S. you want to call. No circles. Call anybody. Anybody? 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 
anybody. 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 AT and T. Good truth. scream, dude. When he gets loud, and pissed <laughs> off. So Serenity funny. now. Serenity now. Twenty percent to anybody, anytime, anywhere. Your true voice. Jesus. Damn. They Look went. Pull that soul. That was that soul, out. baby. Yeah. Pack Bell, Pack Bell. Get him with the Pack Bell play. French outside the classroom, thanks to Bell Atlantic's interactive video Bell Atlantic, which means a French teacher at Ramapo College can teach students at Bergen County Technical Schools. Whoa, she's fucking Skype calling and Zoom calling in. Wow. <laughs> Bell Atlantic, the heart of communication. No beanies in the classroom. What makes the Sharp View Cam so unique? Holy fuck, it's Wayne. Why is he like a chauffeur? Uh, after he want to, he just want to get in the food. <laughs> getting the food service a waiter now. <laughs> Damn that camera! It's what the, the camera fuck? It's always moving. Wayne over here. It's the view screen that lets you enjoy it all. Here comes Grandma! It's a shot you can't get with just any camcorder. It's a camcorder that spins and turns around all crazy. I mean, technically, you could get that shot. You just wouldn't be able to see it as you're doing it. It's the way to play the moment back instantly with all the color and sound. Oh, I remember when that was camp. a big thing. You couldn't watch the stuff that you filmed. Now you can see it in beautiful color and sound. Now, get up to a $200 you now, miss 100% of the videos you don't shoot. View Thank you, Wayne. Hey, girl, before Daddy gets up. Pops. Ooh. Fucking nastiest shit. I liked Pops. Blech. Corn Pops. Blech. I liked a lot of no the more gross more series Daddy's when I was a kid. Oh, look. Daddy's bowl is too full. Blech. Did you know that sugar smacks and honey smacks are two different things, even though they're the exact same thing? Uh, one has a frog, one has a bear. But oh, they're shit. the same fucking thing. Oh, shit. The problem with a cereal that tastes like popcorn, only sweeter, mm. is that it disappears mm. like popcorn, only faster. Mommy, that's Daddy. We share. Hi, girls. Happy, Happy birthday. Where's my corn pops? Now let's all go making breakfast. Kellogg's It's hard to stop when it's pops. Hard to stop when it's pops. They would be gross when they got soggy, though. I mean, not soggy, um, stale. Ugh. You bite into it, it was like biting into like a ball of cotton. Just hated the taste of it. It's just nasty. Yeah. All this and more on the world's greatest magic. Dude, I want to watch world's greatest magic. The V. Seven and peanuts lightly coated with luscious flavors. Mm. Ooh, those nuts. Honey blaze. Oh. Praline. Dipping plus in large honey. whole cashews. So that's my favorite. Oh, I love these nuts. Cashews these are nuts. the best. Gotta keep putting these nuts in my mouth. No, that's my favorite. That's Every nut is you mean your these favorite. Nuts? New oh. Fisher favorite. It's Funniest Damn. comedies in history and the funniest show of the Woo! year. You are a meathead. Celebrate 40 years of TV's funniest family. Frankie, this is it. The Brady's to Bart. Oh, boy. Barnsley to Frazier. The funniest moments from history's funniest comedies. I'm coming to join you, baby. Alan Thicke, Felicia Rashad, Meredith Baxter, TV's funniest families, 10, 9 Central, NBC Saturday. You know, NBC Saturday was popping off. You see I doubt shit? they didn't want to promote The Simpsons too much in there. They should have gotten pretty much every moment. I mean, let's be real. Uh, yeah. As sure as the sun will rise across America, the families that travel will have one common need. To the guy's hair is crazy. So it's no surprise that America's favorite full-size car has also been honored for safety. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Is that just like passing by Amish people? Yeah, like, like, yeah, get fucked. Yeah, enjoy Duff your, your horse. horses, no bitch. Get off your fucking that America's <laughs> favorite full-size car has also... We got any Amish watching? We got any, uh... Amish people hiding a cell phone mm. in the stables watching the Djibouti show. I heard they do this thing called Rumspringa, where they like go out and experience the world as us heathens live. Really? And then they either come back or they run away and never never talk to anybody again. It's got to be fucking nuts. Yo, Guan coming in. There we go. Our first Amish guy coming in. Guan coming in. Nice horse nerds. Can you fucking imagine? Imagine being on a horse and this guy comes passing you by and he's Blasting like a brand new rap song. What the fuck would it even sound like to you? You'd be like, what the fuck? There's like, don't listen, it's the devil's sound. 
I don't know. They don't do it for religious reasons, do they? They see us. They just, I think they stick with it. I, I, think I just, don't know. I think they're just like, it's know. 1899, and that's all there is to it, right? But crazy, man. Crazy to think someone's just, you know, living that life. Just fucking milking cows and shit. I mean. Never seen a monitor TV. It might be nice to live a simple life, right? It yeah. might also kind of suck certain parts of it. It is religious? Okay. So it's no surprise that America's favorite... Damn, they see that fucking nice new car. You're like, fuck, man. They got it made. They got... You got a little fan. They got air conditioning in that metal thing. And you got to go to the same... <laughs> go to the same store and then these people. Their full-size car has Their also axle brakes is all made out of wood and shit. This kid's like... <laughs> for safety. That's according to Prevention Magazine, which gave LeSabre... They build good stuff. The safe car. Hundred percent self-sufficient, living off the land. Achievement award in the full-size category. Buick LeSabre, the American family, family car. I hate guy that just, car. Guy just fucked up by hitting the wall when he parked. The Buick LeSabre is such a piece yep. of shit. Full-size safe car achievement award. Oh, he got distracted and got fucked up there. In the full-size category, Buick LeSabre, the American family. Family car. A Buick. The dawn of power. Power line 10 amps. Oh my of god, power. that thing sucks. Plus 12 amps maximum power with hard box and tools on board at prices that will blow you away. Power line, power line plus. Sucking up the galaxy. From Eureka, the next Eureka. generation. It's never fun to eat and run, to rush and eat too fast. Cause you know it's gonna catch up with you at oh. Rapid indigestion or heartburn with headaches. Show, Nothing's sir. faster than Alka Seltzer. Get yourself some oh. Alka Seltzer and you'll feel better fast. Those bubbles. That seltzer. When something artsy fresh farts comes into your life, at the exact dude, Line Rider, the it, movie, it's real life it's Line Rider, Aurora, in an Aurora. Aurora. See what happens when you demand better. Yeah, some of those art fans, they get fucking take a bunch of shrooms, go to the exhibit, start seeing shit. Yo, this painting's wiggling at me, bro. Dude, I'm in an Aurora right now. Aurora. Later on the Tonight Show from New York, get an early taste of Thanksgiving with Jay. Oh, oh. No, Jay loves going to have people a, a drink. Thanksgiving milkshake. Thanksgiving and a drink. What do you think? Oh, God. <laughs> and you won't believe what happened. Holy shit, that was Jay Leno on the left. Look at that chin. And you won't believe what happened to David himself. Hasselhoff down under. You can say that, right? The Hoff. The Hoff. Whenever I see him, I just think of cheeseburgers and I get hungry. Plus, Elle McPherson, Bill Donahue, Andy Rooney, the music of Bon Jovi, and a nutty page. And tomorrow, don't miss David Copperfield, NBC Tonight. One of the th funniest things I ever saw with Leno is it was, it was more funny because it was kind of uncomfortable. But Louis C.K. was on the show, and he just opens up, hey, how you doing? How you doing? He's like, Jay, you look like no one else. <laughs> <laughs> the clip, the, he watched the clip, it's pretty funny. He's like, no one has a face like yours. Like, yes. <laughs> Dude. And you can tell it like really uh, offended him. He's like, he's like what, what are you? Why are you making fun of me? He's like, no one. Like, but imagine you, you're no like one trying to like promote you. a dude on your <laughs> know, nationwide show. Up. Like, so many people have made a career off of. Like, I was Jay like, Lowe and it was shit. when he was at the tippity top, you know, with the FX show, and he was like killing it and doing, winning all those, uh, all those Emmys and things. And then he just went on there. He's like, you look ridiculous. Like your face is crazy. <laughs> I was like, holy. fuck. <laughs> and he's like, eh, you're jealous because you got hair. You know, he's just wiggling his big hair around. I was like, eh, he had a comeback, but it was brutal because you could tell it got to him. Jay Leno was a stand up too before he did. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I was like, oh, he's going to get you back, you know, and he did. The nutty I've never heard his stand up, though, have he's you? Got that bouncy hair. No, I've no. heard he's a great stand up. I've never heard it, though. No. I know him now as mo mostly a car guy, you know? Yeah. And tomorrow, don't miss David Cobb. Yeah, he got some good <laughs> shots back at him. It was just so, like, holy shit, dude. You're just the guest of his show. And you just go, your face is ridiculous. It was like, holy shit. <laughs> NBC tonight. Thanksgiving with the family. Mom, I would not miss it for the world. Hold on, I get another call. Hello? Bob, I got us two tickets. 50-yard line. Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> Better call well, Willie West on flowers. the phone. Oh, shit. Billy West laughing at you on the phone. 
<laughs> it's Are different. Are you happy with your current accommodation? Better call 1-800-Flowers. What goes into Ooh. the Dodge Viper? The Viper. Detail engineering. It's More so round. Than it's a so Ferrari round. 348. But not these impurities. Every new Viper leaves the factory with Yo, crystal clear nifty, what up, nifty? Ultimate, The only premium refined an extra step to remove impurities for unsurpassed performance. Proving a master stroke of engineering begins with your car, Damn. but ends with Childhood dream car? Yeah, when I was a kid, I really wanted a Dodge Viper because of Driver 3, the demo. I never oh, played the actual shit. game. Yeah. But I wanted a blue Dodge Viper with the white racing stripes. Mm -hmm. So bad. Mm -hmm. That one big ass two stripes down the middle. Hey. <laughs> Gotta get some rest. <clears throat> Tomorrow I'm pitching the Coup computer account. Me too. We're competitors. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I hear we've got the inside track. <laughs> well, get that rest. I will. His stop will do nothing for his cough. Hmm. Vicks Night Will. The night Vicks has sniffling, night? sneezing, coughing, aching, stubby head fever, so you can rest. Sick guy in the elevator? Yeah, you're just like, well, I'm getting sick. That's how it used to be. Like, no sick days. You're just fucking super sick. Just come on in. Just power through just it. Get in the elevator. Cough all over everybody. Just get here. Your life depends on it. <laughs> Metal Eagle. What up, dude? An ugly, <laughs> an ugly ass? Thank you for coming in, man. <laughs> Dream fictional car? The Homer Simpson car. Pretty good one. Oh, what a morning. Why are these things always so early? Starving. No time for breakfast. What do you expect? You're going to be hungry, of course. What's this? A Kellogg's Nutri-Brain Bar. Mm. Isn't this for health nuts? I mean, am I going to like it? That's the question. It's super healthy, isn't it? The Nutri-Grain? Just don't eat them coffee. before you go to the fair, Chip. Mm. With fruit filling, without preservatives, and it's mm. even low in fat. Apple cinnamon. I love it. Oh, but of course, it's from Kellogg. They do cereal. They do breakfast. It all tastes great. Mrs. Doyle, good morning. How's my son? Great student. Just talks too much. Talks to he always has diarrhea from eating them Nutri-Grain bars. Mm. Every day, he's chomping away at them in the middle of class. Too much. I never noticed that. I never noticed Kellogg's that Nutri Grain Bars. Start your morning off right. Gotta talk about talking too much because you don't. You let Vince drive your new Bonneville? <laughs> Just to the game. This guy's a wild man. He wanted to see how the Bonneville stacked up to his BMW. I got his attention. Damn, just had to get out of the car just to look at it. Dual airbag. And even more horsepower than his BMW. And thousands less. So you think he'll like it? Two well, airbags in the bitch, dude. Where is that guy? He just has to keep parking so he can look at it. Yeah. That's the only the worst thing about this car. Yeah, I gotta be in it so I can't look at it. It just overheats a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, picture this. Okay. You have to give a big presentation at work. You stand up in front of 30 people, and one of them starts shooting spitballs at you. Somebody else wets his pants, and another one is under the table crying. Meanwhile, you can't believe it's only Jesus. 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Sound like a tough job? Sounds like a teacher's job. I'm telling you, these people are heroes. These kids are crapping their pants 7 a.m. Crapping, shitting, crying. So oh, don't crap. throw spitballs and don't cry under the table. And you know what? Don't wet your pants. Hey, don't tell me what to fucking do. Don't wet your pants. So literally, it's just like teachers got a hard job. Stop pissing yourself. You gonna tell me to stop peeing? What was this airing on, though? NBC. It would be more like Nickelodeon, you know, or something like that. Hey, kids, quit pissing in class. A lot of kids watch Family Matters and Full House. And Don't piss your pants. Teachers got it hard enough. Howdy. I'm Matt King. And in addition to all my skill as a magician, you can probably tell just by looking at me that I'm quite the ladies' man. And that's my job on this show, to teach all you men at home how to use magic to meet the woman of your dreams. Oh, there you go. Single fellas out there. Dude, learn Pick a little magic. <laughs> Learn a little magic, you know? Women seem Look at this guy. This guy. Fuck. Find it irresistible. Women find me irresistible. If you I can mean, show him wouldn't anybody? Look at her face already, huh? She's like, fuck, is that the magic guy? Is he coming over here? He's standing right next to me, isn't he? Something useful. I'll show you what I mean. He looks watch, like a guy who would watch. do magic. You no, know, she's deep throating the, the straw. Watch this fucking work, dude. Howdy. I'm Matt King. I've invented the Matt King Hiccup Cure, and it really does work. 
You get any kind of a big grocery bag and you put it over your head. You spin around till you're really dizzy. Got him. Oh, and your hiccups are gone. And so is she. She it made for people me up disappear. in my room. I can sense these things. That was pretty cool. Yeah, she's in the room waiting. Shout out to my boy Davey. I thought he was just gonna put it on. You get any kind of a big grocery bag? And then just and turn around. Like, oh yeah, fuck me. You spin around. <laughs> How about now? You know what I mean? Now's my chance to escape. Put the bag on. How about now? Come on, look at I'm pretty good. How about now? Guy. Just bag me up. I'm good to go. How about now? Come on, how about now? How about now? Now will ya? Will ya please? <laughs> it's fucking bad, bad, dude. Wanted it. Oh it's no! Bad. Because you love the. Oh. Let's bring back bad memories. This was awful. This is horrible. And the fact that when we tried this and we described how bad it was, I saw more than enough people saying they loved it and they eat it regularly as soon as it's back in season. I was disappointed. This shit is awful, man. Oh my God, it was so sad. I took a bite at it. It thing. might have been the better in the 90s out. though, right? It, oh, taste of it was so gross, dude. Didn't I feel taste like, like the one food. we got was from the 90s. Oh my God. Barbecued pork with pickles and onions on a homestyle. Oh, Andrew, who dropped biddies? Boys no longer suffering. Got over the breakup. Hit the gym. Numerous women are interested in me. This guy's popping off, dude. Love you, Andrew. Andrew, you don't need and the you paper. You should love bag. yourself. You don't need the paper bag. All right, and stay away from the McRib. You'll be fine. Bon, it's back, and now you can get a delicious McRib sandwich with a large order of America's favorite fries and a medium Coke for just. But hey, you guys who love it, more for you, right? All right, fine. More McRib for $2 me. Two ninety nine. Ugh. It's back. Ugh. It's front. <laughs> Couldn't resist the pun. And you can't resist a McRib extra value meal for just two ninety nine. That sauce was so like disturbing, man. I mean, for two ninety nine, it was like more ketchup than it was barbecue. It was fucking yeah. weird. McDonald's barbecue sauce is fucking trash in I... general. It is weird. Did somebody that say much McDonald's? of it? The only Sour? good sauce they have: hot mustard and Ugh. Mac sauce. Ugh. And. Occasionally, Szechuan. <laughs> Tell us the truth, Dr. Trang. Which battery will last over 30% longer in these digital cameras? Duracell or Energizer? Energizer. <laughs> well, lucky bunny. It's a very elaborate trap for that, huh? He just guessed. I don't know, the fucking bunny, because he's right there? Bunny. He's a goddamn genius. Just keeps this going and going. TV. What's this? Ivan the Destroyer. No, I said go get the villager, not pillager. <laughs> There's no one to fight here. With the Privia again? Maybe he just wanted to drive his Mercury villager. <laughs> I can't believe you said he could come with us. You tell him. That shit. Till next time, imagine yourself in a Mercury. That one was crazy. That was like a commercial within a commercial. It was like, I, I don't know if we were watching a show. Kind of got lost halfway through that one, huh? Me too. Welcome to the forefront of the economic... Oh my God, dude. Look at Dennis Leary with his shades on, man. <sighs> Palm Beach People's Party. Revolution. This is the headquarters of the Palm Beach People's Party. It's more a gift shop, really. You know his Lock song, I'm an Asshole or whatever? Sure. I'm an asshole, he's in. You know that one? Kind of. I heard he completely stole that bit from uh, Louis C.K. Is back with, with the style and the flair of the 90s. This is one of our most popular items. This is our Lotus Domino intranet. Vendors and suppliers are connected, and of course, the workers. We're Marxists, but we got to make a buck like everybody else. You're attacking capitalism with its own tool. Actually, we're reducing cycle time and improving customer service. A lot of comrades spinning in their graves right now. Strange. How do I play Luck of the Zodiac? Well, you got 12 different tickets. It's one for each Zodiac symbol. I like Leos. I'm a Virgo. We're not compatible. Cancer, Libra, Aries? Lucky. I like lions. I go to the zoo. Often. Daily. 
Capricorn. We got eight, nine random stars hanging out there. Some ancient Greek guy looks up and says, "Looks like a goat." Roar! I love that. Go. Yeah, these are fucking like weird commercials. Of course, who wants to be born under the sign of the stick? A zodiac scratch and win. Okay, some D boy asked a question. Mm-hmm. He said, "Is there such a thing as a clean dookie?" No. But there is such thing as a no wipe dookie. And maybe that's what he's referring to. That's not a clean because no poop is clean. I mean, the, even the healthiest, most well balanced. Right, it's all gross. Most well balanced turd is still a turd. Yeah, but there's no such thing as a clean. But I mean, if you're getting a clean sweep, I'd say that's clean. Mm. You know, you're getting a clean sweep, nothing, not a scratch on the paper. That's pretty clean. That's a clean cut. Yeah. You know? A clean squeeze is clean all I squeeze. call it. Yeah. Ghost is like it never happened. Exactly. Boy, it's like you won the lottery when that happens, huh? What did they have for dinner last night? Hamburger and uh, noodly stuff. <laughs> Maybe you should fill that space with stovetop a little more often. Just stove remember the top. stovetop and they'll remember the dinner. Stovetop stuffing. Everything you ever had stovetop stuff. stuffing? All right. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. Actually. I don't think I ever have. My dad always so. made stuffing like on his own. Yeah. Still doing the fiber pills? Not so much. I kind of gave up that habit. It's been suffering, you know? But uh, it was true what Pop said. They, they make you fart pretty hardcore. Oh, don't give me any of those. The fiber pills. I don't yeah. need any help. I mean, they'll give you clean poops, but they come, there's, there's no free lunches in nature, you know? Something when you, where you excel somewhere with a pill, something else is going to happen. It's like the monkey's paw. Like, you get what yeah. you wish for, but yeah, not all of what it you want. It was just, you know, hard tooting if you're taking those pills. Yeah, it's just like crazy. It's like stomach aches. You got to fart so much, you know? The farts are worth it. Yeah. Well, you know, to each their own. Just put, you know, a carbon filter in your underwear. You're good. Yeah. You Germanic roach, you yucca roach, you classic water roach, spitters. Damn, fucking grenaded him oh, out. Boy. They're all just breathing You're it the in most shit. Stubborn of all breeds. Trust me, I'm very good at what I do. Very good what I do. Geriatric. Have you guys ever done a double pipe classic? What? That sounds like some advanced poop technique I've never heard of, my friend. A double pipe classic? Double decker? It's not TV. It's HBO. HBO. And that's where they got the idea for Joe's apartment. Mm-hmm. What movie is this? Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. I can't show it. The jackal is loose. The jackal. The jackal, the jackal. Double pipe classics, the Tom Segura thing. What is it? I don't know what it is. It's tomorrow. Comes out tomorrow. 99 cents for five nuggets. 99 cents! Did you know Wendy's five-piece chicken nuggets are just 99 cents every day? Excuse me? This price is every day? This guy looks awesome. I wish this guy was a GTA RP model. He kind of looks like Jake Bergerman. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what I'm just feeling. That's right. Dave is proud to present five crispy chicken nuggets for 99 cents every Best day. Best nuggets in the business. Best <laughs> nuggets in the business. Yo, Niss, what up, dude? Not like for a week. I don't know what to say. That's a good news. Yeah, this kid, dude. Talking with nugget in the cheek already, dude. Think about How nuggets. do you know that's a nugget? You can pop it in and you can still carry on a conversation. Mm. What a bargain. Good deal. That's white meat. Ah! Ah! Surprise Dave Thomas in your window. Five nuggets for 99 cents. Never seen a chicken deal that good. It's quite possibly the best deal in chicken. Yeah, that's the Dave Thomas phase of Dave Thomas I remember the most. See, but this was 99 cents for five nuggets in the 90s. You could get 99 cents chicken nuggets at Burger King in like the 2000s. I think that's a better deal. She wearing a big suit, huh? But it probably tasted like shit. That thing's massive. Five nuggets for 99 cents. It's like a bed sheet. It's wrapped up in it, you know? Never seen a chicken deal that good. It's quite possibly the best deal in chicken. It's worth crossing the road for. I can confirm it's the best deal in, te- in the world. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> NBC's doing the full Monday. Hot stuff, baby, this Monday. I want some hot stuff, baby, yeah. The hell? Sudden, suddenly Susan. Suddenly Susan. Dance around with Tony Bennett. Fired up. Naked Truth. 
to let 50 cents. Mama, man of means by no means. The Big King. Oh, it was the Big Mac, but not as good. <sighs> they tried. Oh, they tried, didn't they? Just do Whopper deals. That's what we come to you for, Burger King. Stick to what works, huh? And then they kind of came around and started doing the King commercials, like the actual the King dude, I like the King commercials. Giant, giant head guy. Do you remember the King uh, Xbox and like PS2 games? Yeah, they made a video game with him. It's pretty sneak, lit. Uh, sneak King. And then, then I just got remembered a Chex Quest. It's like a Big Mac. Except it's flame broil. Uh, does that grab anybody? Oh, fuck. Flame broil. And it has 75% more beef. You know what was better than the Big Mac that was like ripping off the Big Mac? The Big Carl. You ever had that one? Who had the Big Hot Carl? The <laughs> Carl's Jr. had like a <laughs> had like a rip off of the Big Mac, and it was actually really fucking good. I'll have a Big Hot Carl. Yeah, it's probably DMCA. Wait a minute, it's nothing like a Big Mac. Damn, they were fucking going for the throat, though. Yeah, they, they were big, going after each other. You know other. what they fucked up? They wrote Big Mac too much on their commercial. Yeah, they advertised their, the other person's product. When I see this, I'm like, oh, is that? And then the text says Big Mac. Big Mac? Hey, let's go get McDonald's. Well, look at those big onions. I mean, the Big Mac has the little diced up onions. You yeah, know? this is going to do the thing where you take a bite and you pull out and you're just going to get this big old onion on your lip. And they always cut like the wrong piece of the onion. Like they give you the outer part that's all hard and gross. Mm hmm. I hate that shit. The album. Welcome to Max Q&A. Think fast, movie fans. Here we go. Ooh, Q&A. In DOA, somebody's poisoned Dennis Quaid, and he's got 24 hours to live. The only person he can trust is his real-life future wife. The question is, who is she, and where did they meet? Uh, Stay tuned for the answer. Max Q&A uh, will be right back. Samuel Jackson, Samuel Jackson, Samuel Jackson. Must be something left over from last year's show. Oh, I think I hear somebody coming. I better disappear. That guy's too tall to be Napoleon, man. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? I better disappear. How'd you like a bigger TV? I'd love one. Well, right now, Sears has all electronics Woo! and appliances on sale. Appliances, too? Yep. I could use a new fridge. Appliances well, at Sears. Deliver any appliance over $399. You get a bigger fridge and a bigger TV. Pass that up. So hurry. Sale ends Saturday. This is Imagine TV. Or back to the right, random shit. I brought you shit. up here, my Mercury, to tell you something. Yes, Brittany. I'm carrying your father's child. <gasps> you, wouldn't that be me? Exactly. Oh, yes. That's nice. Wait a minute. That's not Bobby Rosso. Who the fuck? Jerky? Actually, no. It's a pretty smooth ride. Till next time, imagine yourself in a Mercury. All right. Critics are calling the man who knew to... Oops, yep, can't show... Yeah, these movies, they pop up. The man who... November 14th at a, a man who knew too little? I don't think I've ever seen that. I've seen Groundhog Day. I've never seen that. Or near you. Never. Plus, I heard he's canceled right now. No, I haven't been paying attention to the news. Yeah. All I see is Amber Turd and Amber Heard this and that now. Yeah, it's all about Amber Turd. Hello? And her dog who stepped on a beat. Oh, my God. That meme was so weird, dude. <laughs> Why would you say that? I haven't kept up with it because I'm like, okay, I've had enough of the Amber Heard stuff. But that clip of her with the B thing is insane. It's so weird. Have you seen the people where they do their own take on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, dude. It's insane. Yo, Jodo's in the house. And he's dropping five. Get that. Yes, Woo! What up, dude? How you doing, man? Jodo, thank you Good very, you. very much. Happy Thirsty Thursday to you, sir. My dog. Yeah, there's a clip of Amber Heard. If you guys haven't seen it, she goes, my dog stepped on a bee. And like pretend cries, but it's like so badly timed. Really fake. Really bad actor. Like one of the most fake cry takes I've ever seen. And so everybody's doing their TikTok thing where they're like doing their, <laughs> doing their own version of it. It's funny too because it's a lot of... Um, Damn, you did like, did you do five individual gift subs and, and then a whole bunch of five more? Thank you, dude. 
Oh, uh, an OG. Thank you for the prime, too. Just broke the show. Her crying was on autopilot. Yeah, it was really weird. Best thing about that meme, though, is a lot of, like, boomery people trying to get on it. So they'll, like, take, uh, like, without my glasses, I can't see. I like to eat at KFC. <laughs> Beef stroke me off. What up, dude? Thank you for the Prime 31. Phillips introduces ISIS, the cellular phone that can let you talk up to six long hours. I love you, honey. What is it called? Honey? ISIS. ISIS. Phillips. Call ISIS today. Can't do that one. Weep. Weep. At the car thing. At Where the, you clean the car? Get the car thing, yeah. Damn, he's going to let the windows open and accept it. He's going to let it happen. Oh, my God. Oh. PC Thank tech you, was popping off one time. Thank you, Lauer. Brought her back. You're a thing. They grew you in a lab. Oh, is this Alien Resurrection or whatever? I everything you hoped for. Dude, we got to do the Alien movies, dude. The first one is slow, but really good. Oh, I want to watch them again. It's it's been so long. I've seen this one the most, I think. Yeah, Resurrection. Resurrection, dude. It's really good. November 26th. Only. Yeah, we got to do the first one soon. Maybe around Halloween time, get into the Alien movies. I'm down. What do you like about Eagle Hardware's tool department? Oh well, variety. Righty. Uh, practically anything you need. And you're a serious tool junkie, too, Walt, huh? Oh, gosh, yeah. I've got... Uh, oh, gosh, yeah. I'm a big tool man. Joiner. I have a bandsaw. Compound bandsaw. lighter saw. Oh, I wish I lived next door to you. I could come over and just... Sure. Do... Well, you can just come over right now. Let's That's the cool thing about people house. with tools. They're, like, so willing to let other people use them. Don't just come over to my house. As long as you're not a thief or whatever. Yeah. I'll loan you my tools. You what? I, I yeah, but I'd put it on a list because I don't trust you. I'd put it on <laughs> See? A like I said... Put it on a list. You don't let them borrow it. They come over to your house and use it. You know, borrow I mean? your bandsaw. Hardware and garden. Load it up in my truck. I'll bring it back. More of everything. Devilbus commercial quality air compressors. All the power you need for your projects. See the complete line of Devilbus at Eagle. Cool air compression commercial. That's a mm. first. Well, you bought yourself a great set. <laughs> you got your cup holder, your vanity mirror, and just don't touch that! Buying something big? Use now the Bravo free. Card's innovative reserve line, a second line of... Do really have, like, a glass case you have to remove first before you push the big red button for eject? I think it ejects it off. Fuck. Yeah. Bet it at a lower rate for your bigger purchases. So, how's the jacket working out for you? Of course, within reason. Great. Hey, where'd you fly off to? Imagine credit and extra credit. Bravo. Truffle it cream, look up notice. goblin head slap. We've seen it. Fine. The Harry Potter yeah. uh, theme park one. Yeah. It's a good one, though. It is. Incomparable. One and only. Mega deal. Just Louie. The only real deal. Any pizza, any size. Any number of toppings. Yeah, they got that extra time. thin. Always. Thin extra crust thin. is so good. Doesn't extra fill thin. you up at all. You can eat the whole pizza to yourself. But goddamn, is it good? Jodo breaking it down real quick. He says here he says had the flu bug, but I'm back, baby. Let's go. Back at him, dude. Glad to see you back, man. Sorry, I had to deal with that, dude. The flu can be a real, real shitty one, man. Um. Do you know what I had not too long ago? It was really good. What? Cauliflower crusted, thin crust pizza. From the, what's it called? From Costco. Oh, really? It was actually clapping, dude. Yeah, that's keto, baby. It was good shit. I had one from the Fresh Bros or something like that. Yeah. And Cauliflower, it was good, dude. Cauliflower the first was time they brought it up, I'm like, wow, this is like tastes just like real pizza. And then I ordered it again. I'm like, oh, this is actually cauliflower crust. So last time they sent me the wrong crust. Oh, they fucked you. They didn't give it to you. <laughs> they fucked my diet, dude. <laughs> Can we see Louie's Pizza Hut commercial? Do you know how I could even it was find Domino's? It? Yeah, you just type in Domino's 1998 heat wave and it pops up. People want to see it. I know it's been a while. We have to show them that they don't believe that you were in a commercial, Louie. Yeah. Domino's. I wish I could get my... Uh, Domino's. My gateway uh, commercial. I found other versions of it that are like shorter. 
Yeah. But I was in like the extended cut or whatever the fuck. Haven't seen it yet. There well, it is. So whoever hasn't seen it, let's watch Louie's commercial. Is the commercial Louie is actually in. A chi- the child star that he I'm was. I'm going to show right here. You ready? What's the hottest? There's me. There's Louie. That's Give me. You see, I wasn't always a fat slob. He's famous, dude. <laughs> famous. Famous back in uh, 98. You were in commercials, dude. Thing that happened to pizza? The new Domino's Heat Wave. It works like a portable oven, delivering a pizza that's really hot, really bubbly, and really worth smiling. There, there it There's was. There's the emote right there. There it was. Dude. Put the emote in the chat. Let's go. There he is, the famous man himself. A little bit of a Seinfeldy kind of mullet too going on. Yeah. Did it, it pay well actually because it was a national commercial? You got paid residuals every time it aired. So I actually got a lot of money off. Getting paid to throw up two thumbs up. Yeah. Johto popping off on that one again. Dude. Really Thank worth you, smiling about. Like Johto. And I also got uh, into the Screen Actors Guild. Now a large with up to three toppings. Is that it? Just Is those two shots? Yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah. I think there's one more shot where I'm eating pizza. But... Pizza? Wow. You have to look at your fake dad. Yeah, it was weird. I'm your father. What's the hottest thing to happen to pizza? The new Domino's. What did you say there? It looks like you're mouthing words. Wow. What's the hottest thing that? That was your your first. Or cool, I don't know. You said wow, cool. I don't remember. Well, let's let's look. Let's old. look. You have a line here. You're in a national na- nationally televised commercial, and you had dialogue. What's goes, the ho- What's the wow, hottest cool. thing that happened to? Pizza? Yeah, you do say it. Look, look at your lips. Look at your lips. Wow, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dubbing your you're fucking. You're dubbing commercial. my commercial. Wow, cool. Now it's come full ah. circle. Yeah. It works like a portable oven, delivering a pizza. Did you improv that, or did they have a script for you? They were just, like, act excited. (laughs) There was, like, a whole other scene we shot where we ran down the staircase, and they made us do it, like, 20 times, and they never put it in the commercial. Oh, you ran down stairs? You must have been ready for this part. There's a whole other part where there's, like, dudes inside of a truck baking the pizza. Mm. Because they do, like, multiple cuts of all the commercials, right? Oh, yeah. There's, like, the really long version, the short version. Yeah. This is, like, the short version. Is there anything oh, yeah. else you could pull up with your, your yeah. shit on it? There's another one right below it that's the same thing, but it's in, like, shittier quality. Wait, keep playing. Nah, it's not in this one. But if you go back and go to the next video down, I think it's the same one. And there's another one down this there. This one's 31 seconds. Yeah, that one's longer. Oh, wait, this one might not be mine. Yeah, this one's probably not mine. Yeah, let's it's see. A different family, different kid. Yeah, showing you. He up. was coming up in my my territory. Is you and this guy? For the best tasting. Wow, that you actually hear there. Wow, cool. If you watch the other one, you can hear me. Okay. Like a portable oven for the best tasting. No, you hear them. They piped them up, dude. They're like, yo, these kids got it. Whatever these kids got, they got it. Pipe them up in the. I'm gonna the let sound. you guys in on a little secret. The pizza was not from Domino's. What? Yeah, they had like this huge Are, wait, 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 wait. Brick Are you under truck? any kind of NDA? I think if I was, <laughs> it probably ran out by now. <laughs> Domino's calling you. You were never supposed to speak of that. They like made it on site and dude, it, that pizza fucking clapped. Might have been one of the best tasting pizza yes. I ever had. So if it wasn't Domino's, then what was it? It was just like some random like catering company made it. So it's all a lie. Yeah. These advertisers, they just, they lie. This isn't even a fucking Domino's product. Yeah. What the fuck? Was it DiGiorno? Dude, no. It was fucking good. Look, they had a guy like a chef there making yeah. fresh. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Dude, this is uh, big pizza. Big pizza. It's all a lie. I remember in the morning we had to eat breakfast before the shoot. And the guy made me, like, a bullseye sandwich. What do you mean, bullseye sandwich? Okay, so, like, you cut out a little hole in the bread, and then you put an egg in there, and then you fry it up. And then he put, like, bacon and sausage and all this other shit in there, hash browns. And then another one. Oh, my God. It was so fucking good. Well, goddamn. So you were eating good. You weren't even eating Domino's. No, they have to feed you and shit and, like, all this other stuff. You have to take breaks when you're a child actor. Oh, wow. This whole one's, bunch of laws. This one's 16 seconds as well. As, yeah, it's the same one, I think. I don't know if they have a full cut on here or not. No. Well, that that's... might be it. Go down. See the guy in the truck right there? This guy? Yeah. That might be it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, this might be another one. No. Yeah, that's not it. That's They're... me. 
Different family. <laughs> Are you in this one? Bag is like a portable no. Weapon. Let's see. Does this kid have dialogue? Now Come on, Damn, man. they're like, woo! They're like, wow, we hate this kid's woo, voice. Let's get that, him out. Woo, that's good pizza. Pizza is hotter, bubblier, and more delicious than ever. Get a Ooh, oh. I'll try and find the VHSs, and I'll send them to Dave's archive. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. With up to three toppings for just nine ninety nine. Fuck, they had two lines, dude. They gypped you. You didn't get to talk at all. No. You didn't get any dialogue. Your your wow cool was uh, very disappointed. Yeah, they didn't let you say. They didn't get the volume off. What the, the other version has no, more of some me guys in it. talking over you? Like on the other version, there's like a solo shot of just me smiling eating the pizza. Do you say dialogue? I don't think so. I, I think, think you couldn't hear me say wow or in, something. On this one, no. Not on this one. Not uh, on the short one. No. It's the longer one where there's like a comedic intro. There's two guys. One guy's in the back of the truck, and he's, like, making the pizza. The other guy's driving. He slams on the brake, and all the ingredients go all over the place. They would have had to pay you more if you had a line. That's why, yeah, I think so. Those other people, they got paid big time. Like, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Mm. It was like every sound was, like, 500000 2000 3000 5000 6000 $10,000 uh, check for being in a commercial, dude. Yeah. Pretty fucking sick, though, dude. You're, you know, you're, <laughs> you're a goddamn legend, dude. Louis famous, dog. Dude, it took so long to get my first commercial. I think I was doing, like, uh, modeling. I got modeling jobs pretty quick, so you don't have to get into a union or whatever. Yeah. But when you get into a commercial, you have to get Taft Heart Lead because you have to join the union, mm -hmm. and it costs, like, thousands of dollars to do that for an actor. Oh, shit. So they were like, we really want this kid. We're going to pay the extra money. So. Yeah. I really wanted you. I have no idea what that means. I just know that... That there's a fee to get it going. Yeah. You pay into it a lot before you start seeing money. Yo, Jodo, thank you for the 10 gifty subos. Necromancer, Savior, thank you guys. 99 is the Domino's Pizza Mega Deal. How has Domino's Pizza gotten cheaper? Mega Deal. You can get three pizzas for six like ninety nine right now. No? Each. I yeah. I don't think um, they're using a whole lot of real food at this point. Remember chemicals. the 555 deal? It was three five, pizzas, five, five, five dollars yeah. each. Five medium pizzas, wasn't it? Oh, is this a large? No substitutes. You gotta call Domino's. Yeah. This is imagine pizza's cheap, yeah. Yeah. TV. Get that cheese hot and get that money. That's all it is. Mm. Next time we're taking the mercury. Oh, it's not. What's funny is it is so cheap and it is such a big thing. There's so many different chains, but there's something so fascinating about the the one bite. Everybody knows the rules. Yeah. Because it's such an even playing field, he gets cheese pizzas and then he gives it a score. But pizza places, like real pizza places, are so much better than the chain places. Yeah. Like Little is... Caesars, Papa John's, Domino's, and Pizza Hut are fucking gross. What's the one um, pizza? What's like the highest score? What's the t what's a 10? Didn't he do a 10? A 10 highest rated? I just want to see his, no his number one. What was it? I've actually, that's a. There was one in um, New York. I want to get. If I ever go. This is a 9.1. One on the slice. Frame. It's rare when you see these, dude. It's rare when you see these go up in a nine. This guy never gives a nine. Oh, wow. There's a few. Was that 9.2? Oh, they got the names here. See, like, look at that. De Lorenzo's Tomato Pies in New Jersey. It says pie instead of pizza. You know it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, if it says pies. That's it. I hit him with a 9 2. Fuck, that's crazy, wow. man. That's crazy. Nine two. I love the crisp. I love the texture. I love the sauce. It had me between a 9 1. He likes the same pizza I like. Chris, like crispy, kind of chew, like a, not chewy or doughy, but crispy mm. with a bite. Shit is nuts, dude. I like pan pizza a lot. That whole series, amazing. But it, watch that shit and you will want to eat pizza, dude. There's no way around it. I can't watch that those videos. Cold. Yeah. So I'll just want to eat. My ear just fall off. That pizza Here looked dank. You could tell. You could hear it when he Whatever bites. You could hear that. All-wheel drive Mercury Mountaineer or front-wheel drive 98 Mercury Villager will pull you through. Mercury and now, Villager. Imagine yourself in a Mercury. Why am I always the last to know? When we got the uh, Peterson account, I was the last to know. The merger, last to know. <laughs> the 
We got a new logo? Introducing ShipAlert from FedEx.com. More than tracking, it can email you the moment a package has been shipped. First and all. Mm -hmm. Smith, the shipment just left Italy, and you heard it here first. Smith was transferred a month ago. You're fired. Of course he was. I knew that. Be the first to know with FedEx ShipAlert. Mmm. Canon's Multipath C3000. It faxes, copies, scans, and prints color images so realistic Good elevator you can music. taste it. Well, practically. Got him. That shit would take like five hours to print out. And the ink costs like $100. But dude, if you got someone with a piece of paper and their dumbass tried to put a fork in it, True. fuck, be proud of that printer. Monkey man, thank you, dude. A lender's bagel is like a perfect day. Lenders. Warm and comforting at the beginning. Did you ever have Einstein bagels? Uh-uh. Oh, Einstein fuck. bagel? Those are good. Totally bagel's a bagel, you know? End. No, dude. Bagel's a ba bagel's not a bagel. Dude, you go to a grocery store and get a bagel. It's not the same as going to, like, Einstein's bagels and getting some fresh ones. Mm. I'm going to have to try that out. Yeah, it's so fucking good. Running out till mom found more juice makers. You like a bagel as a sandwich? You ever have lox and bagels with the salmon on it? I don't think I've ever had a salmon bagel. Oh, fuck, dude. I don't think I've ever had one. That shit collapse. Oh, my God. I remember this commercial. Yeah, juicy juice maker. Make your own juice. Add water. My mom used to make that shit. It's like a fucking grenade of just fruit punch. It's a chug jug from Fortnite. Each one's a Oh my god, I remember this. It makes 46 fluid ounces. It's a fucking grenade. Throw it at a kid's birthday party. 100% juice. Just add water. Throw it in the pool. Glad mom's stocked up on Welch's juice makers. Introducing Dentine Ice. Dentine. Frosty outside. Dentine. Inside, <laughs> chewing gum made to hold on to the cold. <laughs> New Dentine Ice. Dude, I remember thinking that was ice. so cool when Dentine his glasses ice. filled up with the ice. Awesome. It must be ice cold. Yeah. It works! <laughs> ah, Flubber, change it. Flub. We all love Flubber. Of course. I wanted to put it on my shoes so bad. Robbie Williams with the flub, dude. Thanksgiving Day? Fuck. Imagine eating a turkey with some mashed potatoes and then watching Flubber. Mm. Fuck, what a day. Coming this Thanksgiving. They still look good. The animation on them? Hurry in ASAP for an amazing sale at JCPenney. Yo, Doswell, thank you, dude. Dub the flub. On this season's items Might be worth it. Store. So no matter how you get here, CG, yeah, ASAP. still holds up on Flubber. Welcome back to Max. Q oh, the question. You guys remember the question? Do Who's guys... the wife? Who is the wife? Chat, do you guys still have your answer ready? Here it is. Who is Dennis Quaid's real life wife? And where did they meet? The answer Meg Ryan. Somebody in the Dennis chat actually got that right. Someone said Meg Ryan. Yeah, for Sharp. sure. It's DOA. Thanks for playing. Thank we'll you. We'll see you next time on Max Q and A. Until next time. And there it is again. Shout outs, of course, to our boy Dave. Make sure archive. you sub to Dave Archives. The He's archive. So close to that plaque, baby. The archive man himself. Definitely deserves it. Um, we do have to get going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout outs to Lou as well for joining. Make sure you guys are watching the Lunatic Live experience on Twitch. Thank you. Um, creepy crawl. Thank you, dude. He says, yo, what's up, man? We gotta get going. We gotta get going. But thank you guys. It's always so fun. Is the dong live? I was, I was telling him if he wants to go live around this time, I'd love to throw the crowd to him. If he is, we'll send you guys over to that way. I love dong, man. So you guys send you guys over to the dong, man, man. Is he still playing Dead Space or are you playing something else? Mm -hmm. I want you guys to hit him real hard. IRL bagel segment, perhaps? I think so. I'm always down. He is live. Okay. Make sure you guys show some love to Damon, all right? Everybody in, hit him hard. Drop your love on Damon. He deserves it. One of the greatest entertainers on Twitch. You understand me? You get in there and you hit him hard with the love. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Bye.